Hey guys. Hey Arlene. Ashley. Hi guys. Can you hear me okay? <clears throat> get a sip of juice, get my voice going. I'll wait till y'all say you can hear me. I don't know. Can you hear me? Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. So I got some happy mail I'm going to show today. And then I think I'll just work in my art journal which I've moved into another book. <laughs> Big surprise there. Uh, hi, Linda. Let's see. Uh, so good morning. Hope everybody's having a good week. Happy hump day, Gail. Yeah. <laughs> Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> uh, and I'll zoom in when I start doing stuff. I just put this out here so we could have, um, you know, see something on a thumbnail let's see hi Kalora. happy hump day to you too okay all right well thanks for stopping in thanks for stopping in anybody that comes in lurks pops in <laughs> i do it too you know so but i've been doing a little bit of organizing in here and straightening up and figuring out some projects for later um like i said today i'll probably just work in my art journal um and uh yeah after i show all this so hope y'all are having a good week i hope y'all are ready for your uh christmas whatever version of that it's going to be this year for you <laughs> hi Rhonda. good to see you <laughs> um Let's see. Hi, Jan Janice. I need your new address, Janice. Um, hi, some big jerk. Send me your address, Janice. Here's my email again because I want to send you something and I don't have your new address. And it, I don't know, maybe you sent it, but I didn't get it. But there's my email. Hi, Molly. Who else am I missing? I'm sure I'm missing people coming in. Pamela. Uh, let's see. But, uh, yeah. Hi, Whispering Cauldron. Good to see you, too. Hope you're doing well. Hi, Beth. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, so if you're just joining me for the first time, my name's Dee Dee, as you can see right there this is coffee and art in the morning uh, i stream every monday and wednesday 9 a.m eastern but i usually come in about 8 30 to say good morning to people and chit chat it's a chat show hi hi nick and tina and hi afro sensible sister good morning <laughs> little waves i love when people wave <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> um, let's see. Hi, Val. Good to see you. I try to click on, uh, you know, as many as I can. I don't I don't hit everybody. The thing goes by so fast. Hi, Jersey. Good to see you. There's Auntie Mame. All right. So just FYI, all this came from Auntie Mame. So thank you, Auntie Mame. And so we're going to show that today, and then we're going to work in the journal. So anyway, I stream every Monday and Wednesday, and um, been streaming for 10 years um, over on Ustream first, and then over on YouTube. And uh, so, yeah, we, uh, we've been uh, fibs, friends in the box, for a long time. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Candace. Good morning. So, has everybody got their Christmas ready for whatever version you're going to be doing this year? Um, you know, uh, did you get your gifts mail? I know that the post office has been really backed up with so many people using, you know, shipping this year. 
um, <laughs> some big Jared, you're funny. A B, let's see who else. Um, thanks everybody for hi, scrap girl, for popping in. Um, Debbie the doodler. Uh, let's see. We have some funny fibs. Okay, B, lurk away. We have funny fibs. Friends in the box. <laughs> So I do have to remember, I do have two notes right next to me. I have to go put my meatloaf in at 10, 30, 10, 30. I have to put my meatloaf in so that Hubster has a hot lunch <laughs> when he comes home at noon. So I, he loves my meatloaf and I, I made it so it'll be ready at, at uh, about 12, 12, 15. But I have to get it in the oven at 10, 30. So I have notes. I have notes stuck all around me to remind myself to run down and throw it in the oven at 1030. <laughs> Hi, Pagola. Uh, what would F, what would F, F, I, B, S? I don't know. Fr I don't know. Funny friends. Yeah, that would be funny friends in the box. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, some big jerk. Funny, funny friends in the box. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Oh, gee. <laughs> Let's see. How you doing, Bacola? Uh, let's see. Should type the secret. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The secret word meatloaf at 1030. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley, good one. Oh, good one. Uh, hi, Juanita. Hi, Janet. I was just saying that I had to put my meatloaf in at 1030 so Hubster could have a hot lunch when he came home. And this was what uh, Ashley said. <laughs> Type in the secret word meatloaf at 1030. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hi, Carla. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. I should do some little giveaway, though, at 1030. The first person at 1030. Y'all are here early, so you would know about it. So you people here, if you're still here at 1030, if you put in the secret word at 1030, first person at 1030. Now, first person I see. So don't everybody go, well, mine showed up first. I got to tell you guys, whenever you have live chat click, don't have top chat, have live chat click. You usually see yourself first anyway. So if you're doing, if you're in a giveaway or something like that, oh, Gaga, thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you too. Let me write you down because I'll send you a print of the first uh, week. Well, sometime after the first of the year, I'm going to be doing, uh, sending out my prints. Thank you so much for the 20 pounds. Um, for supporting the channel. <laughs> Ashley, thanks, Gaga. I wrote you down, and I'm putting you on my list. I'm putting you on the on the nice list, not the naughty list. I know that uh, Lena has not naughty and nice list. You're going on the nice list, Gaga. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, thanks. Thanks for wishing everyone a Merry Christmas, Gaga. You too. So, um, yeah. So Annie Mame is the one that sent me this happy mail. And it took a while to get here <laughs> because, you know, the post office. It's really crazy. <laughs> no, I'm not going to ship anybody meatloaf, some big jerk. Uh, no, I'll uh, I'll make a little something. I'll make a little something, something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see who wins at first. I might special do something, you know, fitting for that person. So if you if you type it in first, uh, some big jerk, you might get a slice of meatloaf. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Ashley's singing over here. Oh, she will get done now. <laughs> you guys, you're so funny. Hi, Candace. Yeah, I said hi to Candace. Let's see. Um, let's see. 
Well, I'm trying to see what else. If, if I'm sure I'm missing people coming in. Janet is doing a, uh, where is she? Let's see. She missed, uh, Picole is talking about it here. Janet is doing a, um, a scavenger hunt. And uh, you have to find a hundred things. She's done it for the last couple of years. And um, so if you want to know about Janet's scavenger hunt, go watch her last video. And uh, everybody pitched in and gave her ideas as to what to put in the hundred things that you have to find. And then um, she does a little giveaway after the whoever wins. The first one, I don't know how she does it. Sometimes it's the first person or anybody that completes it. You have to prove that you've completed it. You'll have to send a picture or something to her. Uh, hi, Elmer Elmeris, Kathy Carney. Um, okay, Annie Mame, we'll wait for you. Let me know when you're back so I can show your happy mail. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so um, I got happy mail. Then we're going to work an art journal today. Hi, bits, bits of, oh, that's so hard to say. I don't know why. Bits up to me. I don't know why that is so hard for me to say. <laughs> well, good morning. <laughs> uh, ooh, let's see. Thanks, everybody, for being here. And uh, this will be our last show before Christmas. So say Merry Christmas a few times throughout the throughout the stream. Oh, okay. So Janet says she puts everybody on a list. That finishes. That finishes. Right, Janet? Everybody that finishes, you put on the list. And then you do a random .org pick. <clears throat> I think, I think, so, oh, da, 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 da. is everybody ready for your Christmas, your holidays? Okay, so Janet said, yeah, that's how it works. So everybody that finishes gets put on a list in a random.org. Oh, thank you, Pacola. Pacola put the link in for the scavenger hunt. And she streams Monday at 1 Eastern. Thank you, Pacola. <laughs> so there's a direct link in the in the chat. So, yeah, I just like to come on a little bit before uh, 9 to say good morning. So, you know, if you're watching the recording, just kind of scrub through to the uh, part you want to see. <laughs> uh <laughs> meatloaf. No, I'm not mailing any meatloaf, Ashley. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, well, you should, uh, Janice. And Janice, she is doing only things that you can find in your, well, find in your house. Or if you can't find it, you can draw it. So if you can't find, let's just say she said postage stamp. And, of course, everybody's got a postage stamp running around their house. But let's just say you couldn't find one. You could draw your own. So if you can't find something that's on the scavenger list, Janet lets you draw it or doodle it. You don't have to be, you know, Picasso. Well, you, yeah, you could be Picasso. But you don't have to, you know, draw it like, you know, a painting or anything. But if you can't find an item in Janet's scavenger hunt, she lets you draw it. So thank you, Scrap Girl. Thank you. Hi, Bethany. Good afternoon. You must be um, UK or maybe Oz. Welcome. <clears throat> no, no, Ashley, I'm not making an art meatloaf. I'm not carving a meatloaf. <laughs> you guys, you're funny. Oh, you're in Scotland. Okay, you're in Scotland. Okay. My sister uh, did our um, genealogy, and my grandmother's grandmother, I think, is from Scotland. So, yeah. Let's see. Janet is not a ruler person when it comes to the scavenger. Your imagination is the limit. 
So, yeah. Hi, Joy. Good morning. Make a Zen doodle on top of me, Lord Ketchup. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, Kalora, have a good one. We'll see you later. Have a, a Merry Christmas if I don't see you before then. <laughs> Oh, Gaga said her that um, Scotland's her favorite place ever. Um, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Well, if I've missed anybody coming in, I didn't mean to. So, um, yeah, we'll wait a couple more minutes um, for Auntie Mame to come back from walking her dog. And then I'm going to show her happy mail. And then let me just go ahead and show you what I did. Y'all remember that I had my, um, <clears throat> I deconstructed a bunch of art journal pages and cut them down. I've worked in it. Oh, thank you, Debbie the Doodler. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. And I think I do have, unless you've moved, I have your address, Debbie, unless you've moved. If anybody, if you ever, <laughs> if I ever said I need your address and you don't tell me what it is, uh, if you've moved, I, I can't help you there. Oh, thank you, uh, Biss up to me. Thank you so much for the $10 super chat. You guys, y'all are awesome. Thank you so much. I'm writing y'all down so that um, I can send you uh, thank yous on the first of the year. So I make prints and send them out um, to uh, super, people at Super Chat or PayPal Tip Jar Me. So thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it so much. And um, y'all bought me a new ring light. <laughs> what can I say? And you helped pay for my uh, my subscription to um, my subscription to uh, Streamyard, so that I can uh, stream in 1080p for you guys. <laughs> so thank you guys. Y'all are, are awesome. So and and Pacola's always thanking everybody too. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I, I really do appreciate it. Hi, Terry Lynn. So if y'all remember, um, I had in my uh, mixed cans and mixed media the blue cover, and I had cut down a bunch of old art journal pages, cut them down, and just double-sided taped them into that book so that I could, you know, rework them, continue to work on them because they were just they were unfinished art journal pages. So I cut them down and, and stuck them in there. Well, the book started flaring out like crazy and it was just too much. So I took them out of that book. <laughs> no, I love to deconstruct things and re reconstruct them. So I took them out of that book and cut them down just a little and put them in a binder. So now all those art journal pages that I've shown y'all, they're all in a binder now. And they're still just taped. So if I really like something I do and I want to, you know, do something with them, it's just tape, double-sided tape. So I can just pull it out. But I just put, <laughs> put it all in a binder because it's easier to use than that spiral bound where it was all flared out. So we're going to work in this book today. <laughs> I can't help myself. I just got, I got to reconstruct everything. Hi, Candace. Been watching your coloring streams and ran across one from this last time with your mom. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that was a, uh, that was like, what, how long ago was that? It wasn't last, I don't think we streamed last Christmas. So it had to be a while back because I don't think mom and I got to stream last year when she was here. I don't think we streamed. She spent most of her time with Denise. She spent most of her time with Denise. <laughs> oh, my my funny daughter that uh, wants to, um, you know, she wants to clean out my studio and leave me with a, you know, one piece of paper and a pen. <laughs> Not really. Not really. Uh, so let's see. Uh, Let's see. Okay, Annie Mame is back. All right, so we're almost at 9 o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and start showing uh, what Annie Mame sent. And it finally got here. She was kind of thinking, oh, no, is it lost? Did it get there? But it got here. 
And uh, <laughs> so um, I have not opened up all the little goodies. I took it out of the little, <laughs> look at this, one in a melon. <laughs> oh, thank you, Elmaris, for the $5 uh, pounds. Thank you so much. Let me write it down for you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate y'all uh, y'all supporting the channel. Thank you so much. <laughs> um yeah, yeah, I know. Denise, uh, oh, is that was that my mom or was that Denise? She snatched your wink of Stella and Fairy, but oh yeah, mom did. Yeah, mom did. Um, uh, she, I gave her my fairy book, my fairy. I forget who it was. Uh, I don't know. It was Maria Troll. I forget which which person it was. So she got my fairy book and she got my wink of Stella. Yeah, she did. And you know what she still says, Candace? She still says that that is her favorite book. She goes, I have all these color books, but every time I want to color, I just go back to that one. She just goes back to that one. <laughs> so, And she colors quite a bit in it, too. Clara Markova. Thank you, Candace. Yeah, the Clara Markova hardback. Yeah, mom, mom took that one from me when she was here. <laughs> So, okay, so let me show you in the one in a melon. She had these little little goodies all in here. So we're going to go through it and I'll show the books last because it, I know that um, a lot of y'all talk about getting the flow book for paper lovers and I've always bought them. But this one, for whatever reason, this year has not been in the bookstores. I don't know where she got it. I'm afraid to ask her how much she paid for it because it's expensive on Amazon. You cannot find this flow book, the new flow book for paper lovers in Barnes and Noble, Books a Million. You can't find it in any of the stores. And so Annie Mame says, well, I bought myself one and I got you one too. So when I got this big box, I went, oh my gosh, that flow book of papers isn't that big, is it? So she got me all this other stuff too. So I'm going to show all of it to you. So in the little one in a melon, she has this little, it's a little Japanese, I think it's a little notepad. So I, I haven't opened everything. Let me go ahead and zoom in one here. Let's go ahead and zoom in. There we go. That's better. So oh, I think it's a little Japanese um, notepad. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it is. I oh, love it. Look. Look at the little little notepad. Of course, y'all know me and, and uh, uh, post-its and notepads. Hi, Candy. Oh, you bought it right from the Flow store. Okay. So then they had to ship it to you from, it was um, the Netherlands. And because uh, I think that's where it's published. I mean, I don't know where they actually print it. So I'm not sure if that's where it came from after being printed. But the girls that um, put this book together, the flow ladies, they're in the, they're in the Netherlands. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know if they will ever get it. I know. So thank you so much. I'm so excited. I did flip through both of these, but not really in depth because I just got them, you know, just got them. So I'll, I'll go through them more in depth. So that's so cute. That's so cute. I think it's, is it little sushis? No, uh, I don't know. It's just cute little, little characters. So there's that. I'm going to put it back in the little one in a melon for now. And then she sent me some stamps. And I guess, I don't know if they're real stamps or faux stamps. Again, I haven't taken anything out yet. But y'all know. Hi, Merkwood. Ship from overseas. Let's see what she said. But even with shipping cheaper than the price on eBay or Amazon. Okay. Because I think on Amazon, you know, when before you told me you were sending it and somebody else had talked about it, maybe it was you that had talked about it. And, um and said um, that it was out. Well, I couldn't find it. So I went on Amazon. It's redonkerous on Amazon. So I, uh, I think if you do want to get uh, the flow book for paper lovers, it probably is best to get it from flow directly. Oh, thank you, Terry Lynn. Thank you so much. Y'all are keeping me busy writing down um, super chats today. <laughs> thank you so much. And uh, again, guys, I, I do have your uh, address, Terry Lynn, but if I don't have you guys' address, make sure you send it to me so I can um, send you out thank yous. Yeah, exactly. Oh, whoops, sorry. <laughs> it goes so fast. Uh, yeah, Pacola. 
that's it, you know and the books these flow books are normally like $29 they're kind of expensive anyway but look you get a lot in it but 65 I thought oh no I'm not buying it so um yeah Th yeah thank you thank you so much Terry Lynn so I wrote down you and so we'll uh, I'm gonna keep keep my running list keep my running list and uh, Pacola's always thanking everybody too. Thank you. Um, I looked, yeah, I looked on BAM. I, it's I keep looking forward to it. It's not there. It is not anywhere. I don't know if they just didn't ship it this time. Did they not ship it to the states this time? They may not have, you know, with all the stuff going on and the po and the post office being so backed up, and that could be the issue too. But not that they'd mail it through the post office. I'm sure they do big shipments <laughs> on a boat, you know. But uh, uh, yeah, it, I haven't seen it in any stores. Oh, good. Oh, good. Congratulations on a new monitor, Merkwood. Um. Ah, thanks, little sister, and good to see you too. So, okay, so these little stamps. Oh, no, she did you make these? Did you make these, Annie Mae? They're little tiny tags with a postage stamp. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Look, they're little tags made with postage stamps. I don't think I've ever seen anybody make these before on little tags. I mean, I've seen people use postage stamps on tags, but the size of the tag uh, as the size of a postage stamp, Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Did you make these, Annie Mae? <clears throat> the guy by the finally pit pitied me. I was calling every week and said they're not sure I get it. Lots of stuff delayed or not coming at all. Yeah, it pitied you. <laughs> Annie Mae. Uh, Pacola says, love faux postage stamp tags. I I've never seen them like this. I mean, I've seen people use them on tags, but look. Have you have you seen these before like that, Pacola? You did not make them? Okay, well, they are so cute. I know. So I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna put these all in my little um in my little one in a melon bag. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you so much for the super chat. Let me let me write you down. And I don't know if I have your address, Cheryl. So make sure, guys, send me your address so I can send you out um, uh, send you out a uh, a thank you on the first of the year. So thank. You. Here's my email again. Pacola usually has it. And I um, somebody asked me the other day for uh, uh, I think it was sis, uh, sensible sister. I said, um, she goes, is this your email? And she put in, you know, what it's what I had typed in in um in chat. And I went, uh, no, that wasn't it. I said, you better listen. I said, listen to Pacola. <laughs> listen to Pacola when it comes to my email. <laughs> but that I think I got it right that time. <laughs> I know. Oh uh, yeah. Thank you, Annie Mae. <laughs> so uh yeah thank you cheryl <laughs> uh let's see i'm writing here I'm keep writing i gotta keep track keep track don't forget now about the meatloaf at 10 30. <laughs> uh okay so then uh, one of these little smash books i used to do these smash books and uh, let me get a, uh, an exacto knife to open this. I used to do smash books back when K and Company first came out with these, and uh, they're really they're really fun to do. And uh, if you ever open any of these, uh, you know, paper stacks or any kind of thing with these um, stickers on the side, open it like this with an exacto knife, and then what you do, then you take and peel. I don't think I got the first page. Peel off the edge. Peel the edge. Let's see if I can do it here. And uh, tuck it in. Because that way you don't get a big sticky mess from the sticker. But let's see if I can do it. There we go. So peel back the sticker that's wrapped around if you cut it. And then you can just open the back page and mash it into the back page like that. 
thank you, Candace Music, for the super chat. Oh, my gosh. Y'all are so awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Merry Christmas to you guys. And um, and thank you so much for supporting the channel. Like I said, y'all bought me a couple new cameras over the years. You bought me a couple different ring lights, a microphone. You, you pay for my um, StreamYard subscription. So thank you so much. I, I do appreciate it. So I know. <laughs> thank you guys. Oh, thanks so much. And again, don't forget to send me your address. I don't think I have yours, Candace. Send me your address. I do not share your addresses with anybody. And I'm not even with the mods. I don't put you on email list or nothing like that. So um, I don't. I, your address isn't going anywhere. So just FYI. Okay. So thank you, Candace. Thank you so much. So Annie Mame, this is so cute. I had, I've never seen this one, I don't think. I've never seen this little um, smash book. But I am doing another journal, personal journal for the year. Y'all know I have my, uh, my uh, Big Thick Travelers. And I have a couple other books that I work in. So I will use these for sure. So, yeah, there's all kinds of lists and things. I love I love listing. Listers got a list. <laughs> I love listing. Thanks light and laughter. <laughs> you guys. You're so you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 10 pounds super chat. Keep create a fantastic world. Merry Christmas. Thanks so much light and laughter. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Merry Christmas to you guys, too. That's very sweet. Hi, Elo, Elio. Hi, Elio. <laughs> Annie Mame's giving everybody hearts and love. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, guys. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put that in, I'm gonna put that in here too. And then she sent these stickers. I think these are, might be Jane Davenport stickers, I think. But I love little circles like this because they just can go in anything. They can go in Travelers. They can go in Hobonichi. They can go in any kind of journal. <laughs> no, I, that's one thing I probably would not ever be is listless <laughs> in, any, in any sense of the word. In any sense of the word, some big jerk. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So thank you. Um, thank you for that. Then she sent me these two uh, bookmarks. <clears throat> so um, I, I forget who. I know who does these. Um, this uh, I can't think of his name right now. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I have a couple of books on... Uh, on, on him, but I can't remember his name, but I love these bookmarks. Look at that. So I've been giving myself a good job sticker every day. Oh, good. Yeah. So rewarding yourself, rewarding yourself, Annie Mame. Yeah. <laughs> Mucha, Mucha, Mucha. Is that how you say it? Mucha. Yeah, that's who it is. That's who it is. I have a, I have a, a book. Uh, well, actually, I think I have two books on him. And I'm, I know I'm probably not pronouncing it right, but um, I think I have a black and white one, and then I have one of prints. And uh, so, yeah, it's so so uh, illustrative, and uh, really love his stuff. Thank you, thank you, light and laughter. There's always somebody that knows everything in this chat. I'm telling you, you don't know something, you ask the chat. Bam. <laughs> And then there's this little journal. Of course, y'all know we got we love our little mini journals. So this one is oh, it's a card holder. Oh, it's a card holder. Okay, let's see what it looks like. <laughs> you love listing too. I love lists. I love books on listing and and anything that has lists. Hi, Mark. Good to see you. I haven't seen you for a while. Mark. I went and watched one of your recordings the other night to put me to sleep. And so I need some new, I need a new Mark video to put me to sleep. Just saying. I'm tired of watching Mark reruns. You need to put out a new video, Mark. <laughs> it's been too long since you put out a new video. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's see here. 
Oh, look. Oh, look. It's like a little mini. It's like a little mini file folder. Oh, my gosh. How cute is that? How cute is that? It's just a little. It's supposed to be a card holder. You know, I could put my business cards, in, although I rarely give my business cards out. Where I usually give my cards out is if I strike up a conversation. Yes, I always am the one to strike up conversations in bookstores or the Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something, you know, because I, if I hear somebody going, God, where is that? I'll go, where, what do you need? Do you work here? No, but I can help you find stuff. I, I tell you, I know those craft stores. I can tell you on every aisle where everything is. So I usually start up conversations with people and then I'll talk about my YouTube channel and I'll give them a card. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so this would be a cute little business card holder, but I don't know. I think I want to make something with it because it's just so cute to make a little project out of it, right? Don't you just want to make a little project out of this? So yeah, I'll have to I'll have to think about that one. Okay, then she sent me a bracelet, which we're I'm gonna take out immediately, put on. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's so sweet, Annie Mae. Thank you so much. So here's a, uh, let's see, is it black and silver? Yes, black and silver. And like these little squares are pewter. So, um, yeah. Oh, it's going on right now. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I have all different braces. A couple of them are from like these these big Christmas ones, the 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 white one the green one and the red one those are a little set i got at hobby lobby christmas this one right here is a um uh norma uh norma branson limo right here that one and i think there's another one here that's a branson norma one two i usually have two of them on that are from norma so yeah thank you so much <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad you you sent it. Thank you so much, Annie Mae. And then let's see. I'll put that little bag in here for now. Let's see what's in this bag. It's a little little box of something. I waited to open some of this for you guys. Now I did look at the books. I didn't really go through them page by page, but I did uh, look at them pretty well. Okay, so another little bag. These are always nice to send things back to people in. All right, so let's see what is this. Ta oh, it's a t washi tape. Look at that little rhino on the front. Oh, my gosh. Look at that little rhino. Uh, let's see. That might be Mom or Denise talking to each other. Um, oh, she's talking to Denise and Mom. I'm, I'm on group text with different members of the family, so when they talk... The, I, I have to listen, you know. So sometimes mom is, she's not in chat, but she watches a lot. Oh, look, it's a, is it a little, it is the little rhino. You can't see his little horn very well in the camera. Here, you can see it better here. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. That's adorable tape. Oh my gosh, I know, right, little sister Cheryl? That is so cute in a little box. The little box is so cute, too. Oh my gosh. The packaging always gets us, doesn't it? Packaging always gets us. Okay, I'm going to put it in here. It'll end up in my washi tape stash, but I'll put it in here for now because what I'll do is take the box and cut the little um, cover off and use it as like a sticker. Um, did I wear... You mean... Um, uh, gummy? You mean the? Uh, I, I'm not sure what kind you mean. What kind you mean, Scrap Girl? <clears throat> I'm not sure what that kind of kind of bracelet is. You mean the the plastic ones? The um, I'm not sure what kind you mean. I might have not known that name. Let's see. Oh, it's pronounced Muha. Muha. Oh, oh, is Mucha known internationally? Alphonse Mucha, surname is pronounced like Muha, Muha without the C. Oh, gummy bracelets. Um, no, I don't, well, I don't know what they look like. I don't remember. I don't remember what they look like. Yeah, yeah, thank you. 
um, I do have these bracelets that the jelly bracelet. Well, I have these that Boo made me. I wear them every now and then. Hang on, let me pull a couple out here. Let's see. She didn't make these in the 80s, though. So these are more recent. I've got some other. Let's see. Hang on, let me find them. I have little bowls of bracelets. <laughs> Here, let me. I, I just showed these like last week or the week before. I have little tubs and little bowls of bracelets that I wear and I kind of interchange them. But she's made me these like they're like uh, jelly band kind like these. And I'd wear these every now and then she made this kind. But this wasn't back in the 80s. So uh, some of these are hair ties. Now, where's the other? I have a nice, pretty black one. There's another one of my Norma braces. I haven't worn this one in a while either. I haven't worn this beaded one in a while. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, quite a few bracelets. And I just, I just swap them out. Just swap them all out. <clears throat> All right, so I don't know if that's what you mean. Oh, drop one of my one of my little uh, tags. Let's put that in here. Let's put that in there. Um, hi, Miss Vicky B. Good to see you. Merry Christmas. Hi, Abigail. Yeah, those were uh, silly bands. Is that what they were called? But they're made out of that jelly stuff. They're made out of that jelly type looking stuff. Um, but I think they're called silly bands, Abigail. Yeah. So yeah, Merry Christmas, Miss Vicky B. Miss Vicky B, you've been posting some cute um, Instagram photos. If y'all don't follow Miss Vicky B on uh, IG, she posts some good pictures, and she's my planner queen. Okay, so we looked at this. Okay, then we got a couple other things here. She sent me the Jane Davenport. Um, um, what do you call them? Um, I won't take them out right now. The um, Traveler's Insert Wraps. And they're plastic and they have pockets. They're plastic pockets and you wrap them around your TN inserts. And then you can put things in the little pockets. And I do have a couple sets of these. I gave, I gave a bunch of them away. But I do I could use this set because you all know I um, started the, my big thick travelers um for the new year let me go grab it so y'all get it. it's i keep it in my bedroom so this is my current re um what do you call it i i downsized i downsized my travel <laughs> So this is my current traveler. As you can see, it's pretty, um, pretty packed full. So this is what I, I'm using for 2021. <laughs> so I'm sure I could wrap something in here with one of these. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Um. <laughs> I know everybody gets. Yes, I downsized. I downsized my... Uh, my uh, traveler's notebooks. <laughs> okay, so then she sent me this little, uh, I don't know if she made, no, I don't know if she made that. It looks like, no, yeah, I don't know. But it's a cute little sticker there. Let's see here what she got in here. Oh, my gosh, look at this. So she says, dear Joe. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that's so cute, Annie Mae. Hugs for Dee Dee. Dear Dee, thank you for being a brilliant shining light in the darkness of 2020. Purr for Dee Dee. Cheers, Annie Mae. <laughs> this I'm gonna have to put this in my um fibs book, my friends in the box book, which I need to work in, guys. I y'all know I need to work in my fibs book and um where I do a page or two for you guys, and uh, I put this kind of stuff in there. <laughs> so this will this will have to definitely go in the fibs book. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh no he would not do it he wouldn't do it <laughs> when i wear wolfie 
Y'all know when I wear my, it's a faux wool fur hat. It's huge. And it's got long arm things with pockets. <laughs> he walks like five feet behind me. He won't walk with me. <laughs> he will not walk with me where I'm when I'm wearing wolfy. <clears throat> <laughs> I think he thinks I don't act my age sometimes, <laughs> but this will definitely have to go in. Um, <laughs> so cute. Look, it'll have to go in the fibs book. So for sure. Um, <laughs> then another, this is, um, I'm not sure if this is, is this uh, Jane Davenport? Or Do you know? Yeah. I think that is that, is that Jane? No, this is James, isn't it? Is that James? Is this a James book? I've never seen a James book in person. Is that who this one is, uh, Annie Mame? Is it James? <clears throat> I forget James's last name. He has a uh, YouTube channel too. If uh, somebody wants, if I don't know if Pacola has a link for it, but I think that's, isn't that James? <coughs> his initials, Burke, Burke. Thank you, Miss Vicky. I couldn't think of his last name. Yeah, James Burke. So he has a YouTube channel. He does all kinds of art journaling. But I've never seen one of his books in person. I've seen him, you know, his stuff, uh, him working in it. But I don't think I've ever seen one of his um, books in person. So this is new for me. This is new for me, Annie Mame. Thank you so much. James is very, very uh, colorful. He has all kinds of colorful ideas. I think he's working for, uh, uh, what's the what's the subscription? Not Sketchbox. Which one is it that he, is it Sketchbox? Which one is it that, um, oh, I'm trying to think. He does a monthly, he does the monthly uh, review of the, is it Sketchbox? Maybe one of y'all know. I don't know if it's the same one that Mark was subscribed to, but um, he does a monthly review of that box now. Uh, what's her name used to do it? Oh, God. Names are just slipping my mind. Thank you, Pacola. Um, who used to do the sketch box till she had her baby? Oh, what's her name? Oh, I have something here with her name on it. Where is it? I'm not seeing it. It's not handy. It's not right here in front of me. Um, I know one of y'all are going to tell me what it is before I get to it. By Bun. By Bun. What's her name? By Bun. Roxanne. Roxanne by Bun. Thank you, Miss Vicky. <laughs> See, Miss Vicky knows all the planners. Miss Vicky can tell you all the planner names. So, yeah, she used to do the art snacks. Thank you, Joyce. Art snack box. <laughs> Yeah, so by Bun used to do the art snack box, and I think now James is doing it monthly. There may be other people too, but those are the two I know. So um, yeah, by Bun. So and she does vlog. She's back to vlogging now. Uh, Roxanne is back to vlogging now. So if you don't follow her too, um, I don't know. Pacola has uh, by Bun's link handy usually because like this i mean she's like a snapping turtle people <laughs> hi lynette good morning good to see you thank you lynette bought me some um some stuff from hobby lobby for um well she sent me a gift card and i bought some stuff from hobby lobby to work on on new year's eve streamathon so um yeah i showed that on monday some gesso boards so i'm looking forward to trying those out so, uh, yeah, James Burke. Thank you so much, Annie Mame. And I'll put that in. I don't know if I can, can I fit it in this book. <laughs> you think I can get it in here? <laughs> Maybe. Is there room for one more? Is there one room for one more? I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I'll replay. Maybe I'll put James's in and take one of the other ones out. Um, okay. Thanks, Pacola. There she is. See, I told y'all she's on, she's on it. She's on it. <laughs> Hi, Nichols. Merry Christmas. Anybody else I missed? Um, oh, good, Lynette. Thank you. Good. I hope, you get, I hope you'll stick around. Hubster, I think, is off most of next week, and maybe we can get him on one of the shows. I don't think I'll get him to color. I mean, he colored that Western book that time, but he might come on. He's come on and talked about books. He has talked about come on the show and done some book 
chat with us before. Maybe I can get him on to do a book chat. Okay, so now let me show you the books that uh, Annie Mame sent. Which one do y'all want to see first? Do you want to see the flow or do you want to see this one? This one's good. This one's good too. Which one do you want to see? <laughs> Hi, Wu. Um, let's see. Uh, who else? <laughs> Janice said to shove that uh tra that uh, tra uh, traveler's notebook in that in my traveler's journal. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need more Huster content. I know. I'll I'll see if I can get him on some big jerk. Um. I'll see if I can get them on. Uh, I don't know if I can get them on. Let's see. Monday. Maybe. We'll see. Um, talking about books. Um, if there's any kind of, you know, he loves Westerns. He loves movies. He's a movie buff, an old movie buff. Well, he knows some current movies, but he's an old movie buff. And, and he loves biographies on um, the old stars. And um, he loves American history he likes politics. He likes, there's a lot of stuff he likes. So, uh, and he reads a lot. So, uh, da, 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 da. oh, how to play that card game. I tried to get him to do that one time, but Colin, he said, well, it'd be really kind of boring, but maybe I can. I would love y'all to learn how to play Liverpool Gin. It is so fun. Let me make a note of that. Let me make a note. Hubster on show, Liverpool, Liverpool Gin. That's the name of the card game. Um, <laughs> <phone close now. laughs> Although Hubster, I mean, I don't know. Well, he probably, I don't know if he'd get mad. <laughs> he probably wouldn't get mad. But let me, wait a minute. Hang on. Let me go. This was not as good as some, but Hubster's retired military. He was in the military for 20 years. He's been out for 20 years. I mean, and then he went into HR. So he's had a whole nother career. He put himself through um, uh, getting his uh, master's degree and everything while he was in the military. And um, so he uh, went into HR after he got out of the army. Well, he to this day will not let me fold his socks. <laughs> he will not let me fold the socks <laughs> because I don't fold them like this. And this one is a little, it's a little off. It's a little lumpy right there, but usually they're perfectly folded. He will not let me fold his socks. <laughs> so <laughs> when Biss and me said, I don't want clothes. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's no, there's, I, cause I, cannot fold his socks like this. I mean, I guess I could if I spent 20 minutes on each pair, right? So, yeah. <laughs> Upster, if you happen to watch. I love you, honey. Love your sock folding. <laughs> he, yeah, well, he's, he's awesome. He really is. He's awesome. Nobody else could put up with me but him. I'm just saying. Um, hi, Scoobs. <laughs> you play Liverpool with your granddaughter. We have, oh, you, you, you uh, yeah, it's a fun game. It's a fun game. Uh, maybe I'll get him to do that. You just throw your socks in a box. <laughs> almost all my socks are black because I wear a lot of black, you know, pants and stuff. So almost all my clothes are black or well, my pants. And, um, I mean, you know, I've gray and just a couple other things. But anyway, all my socks are black. So and they're and some are thicker, some are thinner. I, I can hardly ever match them up because I don't match my socks up either. So what I try to do is only wash like two pair at a time so that they're easy to match up. <laughs> I don't wait until I have 20 pair of socks to wash, right? Because I'll never match them up again. So uh socks. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that has to go in the in the fibs in the uh wingnut book. Okay, some big jerk SBJ socks in the box. 
<laughs> Equal as I Sims instead of friends. <laughs> okay, so wait a minute. That has to go in the wing nut book. I think some big jerk made the wing nut book a few months ago too. So this is the wing nut book because we're all a bunch of wing nuts. So anyone says something funny like this, it gets put on a post-it note and just randomly, randomly stuck in here somewhere. <laughs> Sibs. Good one. <laughs> yeah. I think you made the wing nut book some time ago too, but <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Let's see. Bethany says, I don't even match them. I just <laughs> pick random ones. So doesn't care, you don't care if they match at all, do you, Bethany? I just wear a pink one and a blue one. And <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys okay so let's see which book do we want to look at first let's look at the flow book first we'll look at the flow book first all right so let me move my lights a little bit out of the way here i love these lights i love these lights i might keep them around after christmas just because they're just so they're just so joyful right they're just so joyful and sparkly all right so i'm going to zoom in just a little bit for our, our of this book anyway so again, Annie Mame found, um, well, she ordered them through the, I guess through the Netherlands is where they, um, that, that's my, I don't know, I'm not sure if they're published in Poland or Netherlands, but the ladies that make the Flow magazine and the Flow book for paper lovers, they are in the Netherlands. Yeah, they're fairy lights. Yes, I love them. And they're just so, and they don't tangle. I thought that this would just get a big tangle mess, but they just pull apart and they don't, they're not tangly at all. I love them. Yeah, I, I really do. Let me put my exacto knife away or Barb Owen is going to be emailing me. <laughs> uh, uh, so, okay. So anyway, so Annie Mame ordered herself one of these and me one because they have not, for some reason, this um, this round of flow book for papers, and it's a big, thick book. They always have lots of inserts and booklets and all kinds of tip-ins and all kinds of things. But this one has not been in the bookstores in the States. I've not heard anybody find it in any bookstore so far in the States. Um, they're plugged into the, uh, they're, they're not battery operated, um, uh, Donna. Donna Tina's fancy. They're not, they're plugged in. It has, they're real long. It has a long cord. And so it's plugged into my um, extension bar, you know, it's, it's, they're plugged in. So, okay. So there's more than 300 pages of paper goodies. All right. Y'all got your coffee. You're ready for some chill. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> So uh, Irene and Astrid are the girls that do the flow books and the flow, uh, what do you call it, uh, book of papers and the uh, flow magazine. So, and, and I buy these all the time when they're, the, when they come out, but this one has not been out. Okay, so, and then there's like, this is a hard, you know, like a cardstock. They have cardstock dividers, and then they have um, station, a lot of stationery. So then they'll have a few sheets of stationery, and you can fold these up, and they have stickers so that you can send them. I don't know if I'd just fold one of these up with a sticker and mail it. I'd, I'd want to put it in an envelope, but sometimes they have the envelopes as well that you can, you know, fold up and or and or cut up. So, uh, you're ready for chill? Okay. <laughs> but the paper is just so it's so fun and so pretty. Look at this. And they have so many different colors and patterns. And so even if you're not a stationary person or a writer, you can use this stuff in your collage, in your art journals. I mean, just imagine like strips of this like cut up in strips on an art journal page. So, and look at the colors. They're just so, I don't know, so happy. And they're all perforated. Everything in these flow books are perforated. So it's real easy for you to just pull one out. 
Let's see. <clears throat> and uh, I, I love doing that with y'all because y'all know I'm going to use stuff. So everybody goes, oh, you're going to take it apart? Yes, I take it apart. Here's a page of stickers. Now let's see. That's, yeah, it's perforated. It should all be perforated. There we go. So there's a page of stickers. Oh, two pages of stickers. I pulled them both out. So these are stickers. Look how cute. Look at that one. Look at that one right there. That little bear face. Oh, and the cat. And then here are some sticker labels. So these are, are they punch outs? Are they punch outs? Or, yeah, these are punch outs. So these will punch out. <clears throat> So they're little tabs, little, little, um, you know, you can use them in your art journaling. You can use them. There's just so many things, you know, little tip ins. So there's a, you know, a couple pages of those and they're double sided. So these are the same. And then, uh, this looks like that. Uh, what is it that Kathy Arbor did with the photo? Didn't she do something like this? I didn't watch the video, but I saw her advertise it photo some kind of a photo transfer thing that's not what this reminds me of i like that photo transfer thing and uh there's another one with the leaf so i love it annie main i love it and then here's some little um embossed they're embossed cards so they're raised embossed cards. And here's a poster. I did take it off. It was, I think it was stuck on there. Oh no, this is the little um the little camping thing here. So it's got the little opens up to a little tent. See, this is the kind of stuff that's in a flow book. And then there's a little a little owl just sitting there on a little log. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff you get in these flow paper books. And then here shows you to cut this out, and it's a little envelope and a note card. I'm gonna just take that out because it's gonna wanna it's gonna wanna fall out. <clears throat> so you can see these all you can cut these out to make little envelopes. Look at that one with the books. <clears throat> Oh, yes, this will definitely book will keep you busy. There's so much in it. And again, you can't be afraid to use them. You know, don't just, unless you're going to use the book itself as a journal, which I've done in another flow book of papers. If you're going to use the book itself as a journal, that's one thing. But you do have to remember that they are perforated. So the pages, if you keep opening and closing the book a lot and use it as a journal, it's it, they're perforated pages. So they're more likely to, to come out right um reading the flow made me want to use my gouache i love their designs yes i know right they do they have awesome little you could use those design ideas like in your gouache so um so anyway you can use it as a as a journal but again because they're perforated the wear and tear on it might uh might make them start to fall out but you do want to use, you do want to use them. Okay, so here's a little belly band. And then these are little postcards, I think. Yeah, th these are little postcards. And they're like miniatures of the paper that we just saw. And so they're, you know, they're heavyweight paper. So this stuff, you know, th these books can't be cheap to make. You know, they just can't be, they can't be cheap to make. And then this is on a heavy card stock here. And then here's another card stock. And another card stock, like these could be little posters. Or what I use these for is like dividers. I use these in dividers. And you can always cut them down if they're too big for your particular. You could cut this down to a TN size and put it in as a, or, or even fold it over right here. Like score it right here and fold it and make it to fit into your TN in, under the rubber band, you know, or the elastic. And, um. Uh, and so, and then put little tabs on them and make them your dividers. Then here is a little stack of papers. These are like tissue thin papers. So um, there's different ones. There's gold. Let's see. Is it? Yeah. They're, they're sheets, like unfoldable. So yeah. 
so it opens up into a full sheet of a tissue paper so there's gold silver and green so tissue papers and again i'm going to just put everything in, in the over here because it'll just fall out as i'm going all right so then another card stock then and i have this from last year too in one of my other uh, i punched holes in this and used it as in my um happy planner the uh disc bound in my disc bound i use it because i don't i'm not a diary person but i can write birthdays and stuff like that and something like this and this is pretty thin so 12 sheets of this in a in your um, happy planner or your disc bound is just perfect for like keeping up with your birthdays you know so they're just so cute look at them <laughs> oh. and then here's another page of stickers two pages of stickers Let's see. I have to, oh, you're well. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Merry Christmas, Bitsumi. Thank you so much. Aw. And you too. And be looking for some happy mail the first of the year. Okay. Be looking for some uh, uh, happy mail when I send out the happy mail the first of the year. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Thank you so much. I know. I know. She's been through a lot. <clears throat> Thanks, Pacola. Okay, so let's see here. Is that a page or is that just the back of the stickers? That's just the back page of the stickers. Then there's these um, triangle page. And just different designs like this. I'm not seeing what it says. Drawing. Oh, you, there, there are different drawing uh, prompts down here. Different drawing prompts at the bottom of these pages to draw on different ideas with these colors. That's kind of cool. So it's just so much beautiful color in the papers. Chestnuts, chestnuts roasting on open fire. So using a prompt for a color. Oh my gosh, Sandra D's drawing shoes, Sandra D's dancing shoes, red and hair ribbon is mint color. That's what they got their inspiration for this. I actually did, I think it was for Eileen, a Sandra D collage page. And I think I did red. I don't think I did the teal, but the mint color. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. Uh, it's just my second time. I lost art for 20 years. Rediscovering has been refreshing, especially with all the learning. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. And make sure you follow a lot of the fibs that we talk about, Friends in the Box. Make sure you follow a lot of the other people that are here and that we talk about. And uh, you'll find lots of inspiration from everybody, Rebecca. Yeah. So Abigail says in every the Dutch issues, you'll find a birthday calendar. What? Oh, how? Oh, house. In every Dutch house, you'll find a calendar in the bathroom. Some are written with a piss on the piss. <laughs> I think that's what you mean. A birthday calendar in the in the bathroom. <laughs> Abigail. Abigail's in the Netherlands, too. <laughs> okay, so here is <laughs> I guess it just it's kind of like um. The old uh, outhouses where you could write things. <laughs> You're out in the outhouse. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Here is a year in books. So you can, it's like a little paper, you know, a little fold out chart. Well, let me just tear it out. And you can uh, keep track of all the books you read in the year. And again, guys, you can put these, you can uh, punch your holes in them to make it fit in a happy planner a disc bound or if you have a ring bound the little six ring um uh planner type things you can punch holes in them and put these in your put these in your uh planners for the year <clears throat> 
<laughs> Mark's got it stuck in his head. And uh, so, yeah, little, you know, line paper, blank paper, um, just so many little, look at this one with the little sewing machines. Oh, how cute is that? Here's another one with the sewing machines in a different color wave. Okay, so then here's little booklets, little flow, like little tablets. Look at this. They're just little little blank tablets like. This one's got uh, grid. Let's see what this one does. And they always have the, I call them snot dots, but they're just little glue dots. They're little sticky glue dots so it doesn't hurt the papers. Let's see what this one is. This one is lined. He's adorable. And this one, and let me take off the glue dots so I don't stick the pages together. Because, oh, yeah, they're coming out of the book. They're not going to stay in the book. <laughs> I'll be using them in something. <clears throat> the book calendar should go in the bathroom. The book calendar should go in the bathroom. <laughs> Scoobs. Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh, Rebecca, I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad you you found us, Rebecca. I'm glad you found us. Oh, and then here's Mary's community as well. <coughs> Mary is hosting our New Year Streamathon, which starts on New Year Eve and runs through, I think she's running it all the way through New Year's Day. So there's going to be a hop. Like, I think Mary probably starts, and I, I'm not, I haven't seen, I have to go to the community tab, go to Mary's community tab in her videos, and I think she has, let me, I'm going to make myself a note of that myself. I think she has the schedule out now. Um, community tab. So, um, so you can see the schedule for everybody's um, going through the New Year's Eve and into the New Year. No schedule posted yet, Pacola said. Okay, but I think she will be posting it on her community tab. So be looking for it there, okay? When you, uh, whenever she has it ready. Yeah, there you go. Don't be alone on New Year's Eve. Come and join the fun. Yeah, Pacola. Aw, yeah. It, and it goes, it's going to go for like two days. So, and it goes around the world. So, it'll be people all around the world. And we've done it every year for I don't know how many years. And uh, Music Scrap Jean used to host it. And she bowed out this year and handed the reins over to Mary, at least for this year. And then this one is just a little blank. One with like gray, blue-gray paper in it. So, aren't those cute? This is perfect for uh, your handbag or even your wallet. I think I'm going to put one of these in my wallet. I have a small handbag. It's like just a strap across the, you know, the strap goes all the way around your body. And my handbag is only like this big. It just fits my wallet and my phone. That's all it really fits in there. And uh, this will be perfect for in my wallet. So I think I'm going to put these in my wallet because I always look for a little piece of paper. I have the little, uh, the little miniature um, comp books, but then I'm always jacking up my... <laughs> purse the little handbag thing because it they don't fit in there very well these are perfect size so that's what those are going to be those are going to go in my handbag oh da, 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 da. oh yeah okay annie may says she discovered the new year stream last year yeah so i i'm going to be used i'm going to be doing a collage project on those gesso boards that i bought I'll probably only have time for one and I may not even finish it on the stream, but then I'm going to do a giveaway and give away the original collage on the new year stream a -thon. So I'm just checking chat. See if I miss anything. Hi, painty girl. Painty, I think painty girl, aren't you going to be in the stream a -thon? I think painty girl's going to be in it. Uh, Debbie said last year was the first year she got to spin with the stream a -thon. It was wonderful. I know they're so fun. And you just can't be lonely or unhappy when you're at the streamathon. Just saying, you just can't be. <laughs> uh, oh well, then there you go, Bethany. 
then you do need to be a part of watching it because it's it's worldwide. So there's going to be people around the world streaming. Oh, and Pacola says some artists will be posting supply lists. You can play along. So, um, yeah, but make sure you guys follow Mary um, because her channel, she packs her channel full of all kinds of uh, art journaling, painting, ideas. She just does a little bit of everything. Mary does. So if you are unsure of what you might want to do, um, craft and art and painting or journaling wise, Mary will probably give you an idea. She does a little everything. I don't know if she's ever done color booking. Um, I'm not saying she hasn't, but I don't ever really recall her doing a color book. But other than that, I think Mary does a little everything. Painting, drawing, sketching. Hide never hold was by Elizabeth. <clears throat> and Elizabeth does glue booking. Elizabeth, never hopeless Elizabeth. She does glue booking. If you like, you know, just chill, you know, vlogging type where she's doing glue booking, that would be Elizabeth. So follow her. Um, let's see. Okay, let me keep flipping here, guys, because it's a big book. We're going to be here a while. <laughs> okay, then there's a couple pieces of parchment in here. And there are these little tiny, like this says time to play. And there's just a little, uh, it looks like, a, I don't know if it's a VW, but it's a little a van, a little bus. And you can do so much on these things. You can use them in your art journaling, in your Hobonichis, in your... You know, go follow Miss Vicky B if you need planner ideas. If you don't know what kind of planner, you don't know if you want a TN, a Hobonichi, a Fobonichi, go follow Miss Vicky B and she will fix you up with something. I'm telling you, you will find some kind of planner idea over at Miss Vicky B's. <laughs> but all this stuff is useful in all that, or just in collage. See, I will, I will have no problem. I know y'all are gonna go, oh my gosh! I'll have no problem just taking a piece of this paper like this, tearing up the edges, make it rough on the edges like this. Maybe I'll find a place to use this today. But look, <laughs> see, I use this, use it in a collage, and uh, I started doing a um, where I would. I called it a dream sickle kind of thing where I would take a main image or a main focal point and then I would dream sickle it. <laughs> I'd paint it out, so to speak. I'd make it look like it was coming out the page. And it reminded me of the old cream sickle, dream sickle. I don't remember what they're called. Ice creams, very pastel. And um, so, yeah, you can uh, do stuff like that. Slap it down. There you go, Joycey. Slap it down. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, there you go, Ar Arlene said. And hi, Arlene, if I missed you. Um, yeah, she'll do melted crayon. I mean, there's just so much. Mary does a little of everything. I'm just saying. Um. Yeah, creative daily journaling. Yeah. And she and and Elizabeth does it like she'll glue things and talk about what's going on in her life. And it's just very chill, very chill. And she just fills up books. I mean, like slaps a lot of stuff in one book. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so let me put these pages over here in the front where I got my little stack of loose stuff now. But everything's perforated. So it's so you know, I love this. Oh, I love this one. I love this one. It, you can't hide. It's not like shiny, but you could tell that that was shiny gold when they printed it. Uh, of course, gold shiny, you know, metallic doesn't uh, photograph like that, but that you could tell that's what that was. Okay, then there's little butterflies. It's just it's so much. Look, I mean, everyone, there's just so much. <laughs> you are overwhelmed with paper in this book. Thank you so much, Annie Mae. I love this. And here's a little journal. So let's take the little snot dot off. Take that off. <clears throat> and then it's just a little blank journal. Again, I got lots of these from all different flow books. And they're just handy. They're just so handy to have them, like these. I don't think I have any this small before. So these are going to be really handy in my little handbag. Okay, let's see what's that. That's uh, somebody else. I got. Oh yeah, I got. This is my little list of uh, my little list that y'all gave uh, talked about uh, new or different or 
inspiring YouTubers. That was on Monday's show. I got to go look those up. And uh, these are stickers. Are these stickers? What or is that? Yeah, these are little sticker labels. I needed one of these this morning for. What? What? Is, no. Oh, I think that you gotta. Now again, <laughs> I don't lick envelopes or lick anything like you're supposed to have sticky glue. You know, like you wet it and it sticks. I think that's what these are. I think because they're not peeling off. I think you. I don't know if you punch them or they're just a little bit of. You can cut them out, I think. But it looks like it has like envelope glue on the back. I would never lick this. Just saying. Don't lick this stuff. Don't lick an envelope. If you get a if you get a letter from me or even a, a package with uh, color book pages or a print, you're gonna see a lot of uh, packing tape. You'll see packing tape on the top, packing tape on the bottom. I licked nothing. And that was before the virus. <laughs> I don't lick anything, guys. So just FYI, I'm not licking this either. <laughs> um, and then these are little, oh, look, it shows you how to use these, these strips here to fold these little triangles and make you a, a little um a little wall hanging or a little uh mobile, 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 mobile. <laughs> And make you a mobile. You can make yourself a mobile. <laughs> that country comes out every now and then. That so, <laughs> so you cut these strips up and then it shows you how to origami them up. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Don't look at it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Use a water brush on the LC. I don't even do that, Abigail. I don't even wet the envelopes. I just tape them all shut. I don't care if it's a bill, if it's a, a your, if you got a Christmas card from me or a, anything, it's going to have tape. I do not, I don't even wet it. I just tape everything shut with scotch tape or packing tape. Yeah. But look at all these. This would be fun. Should I try to, well, I don't know if we have time. I'm trying to see. This can't be that hard. It's just folding like left, right, left, right over the top of each other to make these little tries. Now, here's where I can see how they're folding them. Left, right, look. Left, right, left, right over the top like this. Look, left, right, left, right, and then doing that. But now when it gets to this, what are they doing right there? What is what the heck's going on right there? Are they twisting it? Are they don't know what's going on right there, people? <laughs> no idea. This I can see. This I know. Yeah, maybe that. This not sure. Not sure what's going on. <laughs> but there's a lot of strips of of uh, color here. Look at this. Look at all these strips. To make all those that um, hanging. <laughs> uh, and I think this is the larger ones. I think this is to make those hearts. So, yeah, there's a lot in there. You can make a lot. Oh, what the heck? Oh, look. Now, I would never do this because I don't, um, even though they have the, no, I guess they don't. Oh, yeah, they do. I was going to say that they didn't have the letters on here. They have the tiny little letters. Um, I'm, I'm not a touch typist. Well, I kind of am, but not really. I'm not really a touch typist. So if I didn't have the letters and that's too small for me to try to, try to find on my keyboard, <laughs> but that's the purpose of this is to put it on your keyboard. Look, it's a cute idea. If you're a touch type, Hubster can type like a hundred and something words a minute. I mean, <laughs> he can type like nothing. But uh, I'm not. I'm not a touch typist. But look. Look how cute that looks. <laughs> yes, we are silly, Rebecca. We are silly. Please show us the cover again. Oh, okay, Candy. Yeah, here's the cover. Now, again, you're going to have to order it from Flo. Uh, Annie Mame and I have looked at every store, I think, in the country. <laughs> and they don't sell it here right now. For whatever reason, this flow uh, book for paper lovers they are always in the states at books a million and barnes and noble 
and other bookstores. This one is not. She had to order it from the Netherlands. So, yeah. Um, if you want to buy it from Amazon, it's $65. So just saying, it's uh, it's don't if you if you have a little bit of patience, then you want to order it from the Netherlands and wait. Because Annie Main says even with shipping, it was cheaper than sixty five dollars. Okay, so you probably want to uh, you want to just order it directly from them. So all these little stickers are so cute, but I'm not putting them on my keyboard. Here's my here's my little um, wireless keyboard. See how thin it is. This is just my little. Oops, I accidentally clicked on Pecan. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is just my little HP, little thin keyboard. But I'm not a, uh, I'm not a, uh, what do you call it, typist, you know, touch typist. Yeah. So I need to see the letters. <laughs> I need to see the letters. But that's cute. That's cute. Okay, so here we got another little insert here. This looks like some paper. So let's see what we got here. Oh, look, some big sheets of wrap. Like, well, I say big sheets, you know, big enough to wrap a small gift or to put in a in an art journal. So there's that one. There's this one. Let's see what's on the back side. Oh, look at that one. That one's pretty. Okay, this one. Little dogs and cats. See, this is the kind of stuff I really love using in the Fibs book, the Friends in the Box book that I have, the journal that I have for the Friends at Fibs. Um, this is the kind of stuff I love using in that in that book. I just got to get back into you going into that book. Then there's a card, you know, card stock. Again, these are good for dividers. Okay, then again, more little. Um, you can fold this up. Fold it up three times and make it into a little uh, a little uh, letter or even an envelope. Oh, thanks, Gaga. Appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. Hi, Christy. Good morning. Good to see you. She said it only took a week to get you. It took longer to get to me after you mailed it to me, I think, Annie Mame. So to get to the Netherlands, to Annie Mame, it took a week. And then for it to, from to get to Annie Mame's house to my house took longer. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, look, it's just so, there's just so much beautiful paper. I really love these books. I'm so glad you sent it to me, Annie Mame. Annie Mame sent me all this stuff. Y'all haven't been watching for the last hour. I've been flipping through different things that Annie Mame has sent me. Okay, what is... What's this now? You're supposed to, oh, you gotta, it's kind of like one of those things where you match up the numbers, they're little stickers, and you match them up here, and when you're done, it's going to make, I, I'm assuming it's going to make this. After you take all the little stickers and put them, match them up on the numbers, the little triangles, that when you're done with that, it's going to make this. So this is like your pattern to look at. That's kind of, oh, here's why. Oh, look, there's a lot of them. <laughs> that take a while. I'll just send that to somebody that will uh, actually do that. <laughs> that. Will actually do that. Or I would just use the little triangles in and of themselves. Okay, so here's some more. Looks like some more. Is this a poster or paper? Oh, okay. Little, little posters. These are cute, aren't they? Little miniature posters. Maybe after the holidays, you'll have more time to fit in the Fibs book. Yeah, because I really love working in my Fibs book. And hi, Matt, Ashley, if I miss saying hi to you. I love working in the Fibs book, but it, it does take time, you know, and I really need the person that I'm working on. I don't have to have them there, but it's nice so that I can write little things about them and, you know, diss on them if I want to. No, just kidding. I'm not going diss on anybody. So these are really cute little uh, posters. So let's put that in the front back here. <clears throat> it's possible they will make their way to a bookstore after the holidays. Yeah, I know. They, they, they usually don't. If you see them out there, if they've shipped from the Netherlands, you usually find them in the bookstore. Yeah, I've got four Atlanta bookstores every week. I know. I know, Annie Mae. I hear you. So... And um, yeah, maybe, I mean, I don't know if it's, you know, I, I don't want to say, you know, call you out, 
we need to get together or something. But maybe, I mean, Annie Mame and I are, I don't know how far away from each other we are, but we're in the Atlanta area <laughs> together. We should, uh, we should try to get together sometime. Okay, so let's see. Let me take out the, I won't worry about the little uh, sticky stuff right now. But look, look at these little girls. Oh, and a guy. Aren't these cute? They're like little paper doll things. And and Flo has had these, uh, Flo has had these in, like paper doll type things in their, um, in their uh, different, different books before. You're in Midtown, you know, and um, Darcy, you know, Dar do you know Darcy Glam? Jonna, sister woman, sister Darcy. Darcy Glam lives in Midtown. And she doesn't make a secret of it. She, everybody knows she lives in Midtown. Maybe we could meet up at the, like the museum sometime or um, Blick. <laughs> That'd be fun. Um, go to Blick and the Starbucks that's right there. So, yeah, that would be fun to do. We could go shopping. <laughs> let's go shopping, Annie Mae. Okay, and then here, Flo, let's pull this out. Let's see what are these little papers. Oh, they're envelopes. Look, these are little envelopes here. Again, good for your art journals. Um, good for your travelers. You can always cut things down and, and you know, Fold them and paint tape them if they're too big for whatever journal size you have. And uh, it's always good to have at least one envelope in your journal to tuck in little, you know, bits that you want to eventually get to in your book. Um, oh, yeah. Well, it's, Blick is dangerous for all of us, Annie Mame. <laughs> Yeah, Blick is dangerous. Have you been to the High Museum? You say you're pretty new. Are you new to the Atlanta area, Annie Mae? Are you new to the Atlanta area? Have you been to the High Museum yet? I know the High Museum is still open um, during the virus. You have been to the museum? Yeah. Uh, I haven't been since last, since 2019. I did post... Um, uh, a re a repost uh, on Facebook of uh, Hubster and I when we went last year, and I think that was the last time we went last last December. I think was the last time we were at the high. And then here's the back page, and and they have they have a little pocket, and in the pocket, look at this, they have a little uh, clock. I'm not sure. Let's take it out. You know, we open it all up. We were there two years ago, and yet. And now for work, and now you're a member of the High. Yeah, we love the High Museum. Um, oh look, time! Oh look, it's little. It's a little clock, and it has. Oh, do I need to put ten thirty on this? Don't I? Some of y'all know. If y'all are here early, y'all know why I need ten thirty on here. Hang on, let's see what I can do this here. Ten. I'm not going to say because the people that were here early have the inside scoop. But at 1030, <laughs> it has time for nature. And you can put these little, and then the, you can flip them over. Nap time, slow down, time to play, wake me up, home restaurant open. <laughs> and look, you can slip them in the little, little, how cute is this? I need this when I'm streaming. So if there's something I need to do, um, if there's something I need to do, look, isn't that so cute? I love that. I love that. Okay. I'm going to leave that out. Okay. Then what else do we have here? It's a little, um, it's a little turntable and is it a little, no, it's a little notepad, a little notepad with different, um, I'm going to have to give this to Cameron because he is all into, uh, LPs now. And uh, he has his turntable. And look, this is so cute. I don't know if I, let me see. Did I have, let me see if I can show you the little video. I think it'd be okay to show this. Because there's nothing personal about it. So um, he wanted a couple of albums for Christmas. And he got them. And he's already opened it. So let me see if I can find the little video he sent me. 
this LP, I, and I, I got to tell you, I've never heard of this group. So if y'all heard of them, let me know. Um, I'll show it to you in just a minute. I'm going to finish up here and then I'll show you this. But let me see if I can find it. Here it is. So he sent me this little video. There it is. Okay, so I'll show that to you in just a minute. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to give this to Cameron. I know Auntie May won't mind. And then look, there's just little cardboard pieces in here, which those are good for some collage. So, yeah, I love that. I think it goes this way. <laughs> I had a an awesome collection of... Um, of LPs when I was a teenager. I mean, a stack. Now they would be like, on a, I mean, they're all collectible now. Um, and I took them to a party. <laughs> and uh, I took them to a party. And they said, well, we'll just give them to you tomorrow. We'll give them back to you tomorrow. I think the next day I went back to the house and there was the house was deserted. The house was gone. I mean, the house was there. But the whole house had been deserted where the party was. The furniture, everything was gone, including my albums. <laughs> Never saw those again. So, um, okay. <laughs> okay, thanks, Gail. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys. Y'all, some of y'all know. Oh. <laughs> 10.30, people. It's not 10.30. It doesn't count till it's 10.30. So it doesn't count till it's 10.30 on the nose. And I'll look at my computer when it says 1030. <laughs> y'all, some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Did you, uh, did you see the picture of the ink and color traveler's mug on my IG? It's so cool. No, I, but I will go look at it, Ashley. Let's go look. Oh, my gosh. There's so many good things on IG. I just love IG. Okay. So let's see. Let me go over here to Ashley. Oh, yes, I did. I did like it. I said, I know what you're talking about now. So look, look at Ashley. <laughs> it's kind of, she's, I don't know if it came with it. Did it come with those markers? And you color your mug? Look. <laughs> so look at that. You color the mug. Have you colored it yet, Ashley? Oh, there, there's the, the slide over. Look, it's a little, it's a little kit. You just add color. But I ha there's that was the last picture, so she hasn't colored it yet. <laughs> uh, can't tell you, Tracy. You have to wait now. It's it's for anybody that was here really early. <laughs> so I'm not saying I, I can't say Tracy because I already told the people that were early. So okay, now let me go over here and show you this. All right, so let's see if I can bring this up here, and I think he shows the cover of the um. The album because I don't remember the name of it now. Maybe some of y'all know because he doesn't show the cover or he shows the inside. So this this was the album that he bought. He did a little video. So maybe y'all will know what it is, or maybe um okay, let me just show you the little video here. So let me I'll just go ahead and just I'm gonna mute it just so y'all can just see it. So he's this is the album, okay. But he doesn't say the name. He's just showing it. Do y'all recognize? If anybody recognizes it, I can look it up because I got it off of Amazon for him. I got him two um, different albums. And it didn't show the cover or the covered name is not on it, but I'll show you the two I got. I'm not, I'm not hip enough either. I'm not hip enough to know. But he's showing me the inserts. Wait till you see the album. He's going to show the album in just a minute. I mean the actual LP itself. Look. <laughs> it's, pl it's pink plastic. So it's either one of two. Let me go over to my Amazon and tell you what it is. Yeah, I listen to the Chill Channel on Sirius. <laughs> the Chill Channel, Lynette. They don't play that. Well, they may. I don't know. Let me tell you the names of them. Let me go over to my orders here. Wait a minute. And I'll tell you. I'll flip back to the orders. 
So it's either one of these two. Okay. I sent, I, he, he, there was two different ones. There was this one. And there was, let me find the other. I think this was probably it. Yeah, this is it. Okay. So this was the one he just showed. There it is. It's Miss Anthrop. Oh gosh. Anthropocene. E, this one. <laughs> anyway, so that's the record right there. And it's pink. Elmer says, I like Lord. But this is the one he just showed. That's the one he showed on the video. So, yeah, I've not listened to it. Don't know what it sounds like. He asked for it. I bought it. So. <laughs> That's all I know. Hi, Judy. Okay, so um, that's the flow book for paper lovers that Annie Main um, sent. And this book, so I think I'm going to, maybe, I, well, I think it'll be okay. I don't know if I need to back up one. So let's move this. I love this. I just love this. Look. <laughs> I just want to hug this. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> All right. So let's go ahead and flip through this. Now, be be ready to be aw odd, not O-D-D, -D, not like uh, some big jerk odd, but A-W-E-D. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Am I, am I too close? I don't know if I'm too close. We'll see. I can back up. But look at this book. Look at this book. Vellum. Vellum is all through this book. Look at this. It's a Trisha Guild pattern book. It's stunning. It's a beautiful, I mean, just, it's eye candy 10.0. Is that is that a is that a thing 10.0? <laughs> but it's eye candy. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> uh, so anyway, and there's all kinds of books uh by Trisha. I think that's how I'm saying it. Like Trisha Guild, is that right? Trisha Gill. Uh, there's all kinds of books by her. Um, I think she's kind of like, and I'm not familiar with it because I don't do uh, any kind of uh, decorating anymore since I'm not in the um, in the uh, industry anymore <laughs> doing any kind of decorating. But um, so I'm kind of like out of who's who anymore. But I think she's like the modern day kind of Martha Stewart kind of thing, except I think she designs these patterns. I haven't read this yet. I haven't read it. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, of course, Pacola found it already on Amazon. There, she got it right there. <laughs> she does have a lot of books. Uh, there are a lot of other books on Amazon by Trisha Gill. Uh, Annie Mame says, okay, I bought her books to gawk. I then bought a few to alter and work in. Oh, thank you so much. I like Dee so much. I was willing to share. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so Rebecca says, yes, Val, just like my new Inspire Prayer. Oh, I got that. I have the Inspire Prayer Bible, the purple. Do you have the purple one, Rebecca? You have the purple one? I love my purple Inspire. Oh, not on the prayer one. I have the praise one. Rebecca, I have the praise one. The purple praise vellum. I've shown it here before. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the prayer. Uh, I, maybe I have that one too. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but I do love vellum. <clears throat> okay, so what did you think? Just on number, but she. <laughs> oh my gosh, the big jerk. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. So here's, I'm going to read, I will read all this. 
Okay, so look at this, guys. And then here's a vellum. So, Annie Mame, are you expecting me to tear this up and cut this up and use this vellum? Look, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be doing that in this one. Bye, Arlene. <laughs> Hi, Ray. Good to see you. Good to see you. Anybody else I miss coming in? The tie-dye color. It's a soft color. Okay, I don't think I've seen that one. I don't think I've seen that one, Rebecca. For those living in warmer climes, we're experiencing 45 miles. Oh, good grief, Judy. I forget where you are, Judy, if you want to say. <laughs> you want to say where you are. But, uh, yeah, I don't remember what city. I have your address, but I don't remember. And I don't, I don't shout people's cities out unless they, you know, have said so themselves. <laughs> so look at this. Look at this. You're in Illinois. Okay. That is cold. Vanessa says, hi, crafty angels. Almost Merry Christmas. Uh, hi, Julie. Good to see you. Julie must have had, uh, unless I missed you, Julie, did you have to work today, this morning? I know. I love this book, too. Another, so there's just all these vellum pages. I, I'm tempted to tear out the vellum pages. And put the vellum pages in a journal. Have you done that, Annie Mame? I'm sure you've done it in one of your books. You said you've torn it, up, torn up one. Have you taken the vellum out? <laughs> I'm tempted, tempted to take out the vellum. It's just eye candy. Look, here's another vellum. Oh, look. See, I'm going to work with my gouache. I want to do Japanese kimono patterns in gouache. So this is very inspiring. The kimono section. See, look. See how it looks like gouache as it is? See, I want to do some gouache kimono pattern designs. Patterns like that. Just inspiring. <sighs> oh, okay. It's all right, Julie. I'm not fussed. <laughs> I just wondered. I was hoping you were okay. I was like, anytime Pacola's not here, it's like, I, I got to get on the, I got to dial that girl up because she's never not here. <laughs> you know, I just always wonder. Janet, on the other hand, yeah, I don't so much worry about her. She comes and goes. <laughs> I haven't seen Jana for the last 45 minutes. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> uh, okay, Trisha, thank you so much. You too. You have a great holiday, with, with however you do, whatever you have to do this year. I hope everybody does. Thanks, guys. And don't forget to uh, try to make the stream-a-thon, the New Year's Eve stream-a-thon. So, <laughs> what did Joyce say to mixing it with some from the flow book? There you go. Yeah. Mix it from the flow book. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to tear out the, the vellum out of this book. Did you tear it? I'm sure you did. Tear the vellum out of yours. I'm not a miss. There's... <laughs> If I'm not here, I'm so, oh, sorry. I keep telling you. If I'm not here, I'm sleepy. <laughs> uh, not all so fun. In your own unique ways. <laughs> uh, just so, look at it. so inspiring. I mean, just look at the black, white, pink, and green. And some of the pages are shiny, some are matte. It's just all different uh, textures, all different textures. Uh, 
Um, then there's poppies, pink poppies. See, now I love looking at this. I don't think I could live in this. It's kind of like, and I know people go, everybody wears black because it's so slimming. I wear black, white, and gray because uh, it's, it's non-emotional commitment. When I'm wearing colors, like at Christmas, I have a red, like it's red tank that I wear under another, you know, layer. So, you know, I wear it because it's red in Christmas, you know, but, but colors and clothes make it, um, that make you want to uh, change your emotion or make you want, not necessarily even want to, but you do. Uh, it changes your emotions. It does me. So I like wearing uh, black, white, and gray because then I can feel however I want. <laughs> I don't have to commit to, if I'm wearing yellow, then you have to commit to being happy, you know. <laughs> if you're wearing red, you got to commit to that emotion. And so that's what I think about this kind of thing. It, I'd have to commit to some kind of emotion to live in this. Does anybody else, does anybody else uh, smell what I'm stepping in? <laughs> you know, um, so it was, yeah, I couldn't live in this. I couldn't live with these, um, a most excellent theory, um, you know, and I can wear different color clothes and stuff for a, a moment, you know, or a little bit, but it's, it's like, I want to feel the way I want to feel. And so if I'm wearing, yeah, there you go. Or, or a bracelet, <laughs> just some bracelets. Yeah. Uh, but it doesn't make me um, commit to an emotion. I know that probably sounds weird, but so I just said all that to say, I don't think I could live here because I'd have to feel this way all the time. Every time, and maybe you want to, maybe this makes you feel joyful every time you walk into it and you want to feel joyful every time you walk into it. I don't know. You never felt like that, Elizabeth. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I love it as far as the art of it and seeing it in a book, putting it in an art journal. See, I have no, um, I have no non-attachments to in my art journaling or my painting or my collaging or enjoying this, but in my house where I have to live with it all the time. Yeah, I don't think so. I just don't think I could do it. All right. Here's another piece of vellum. And it's the same kind of thing with my own paintings though. I have very few of my own art hanging in the house. I have a, a few things, but I don't have a lot. And here's one of the reasons, I probably the main reason that I don't, is because I'm committed to that time period. I'm committed to that era of that type of art that I did. Uh, and, and I want to keep moving. I want to keep growing. I want to keep expanding. I want to keep experimenting. I don't want to be stuck. I don't want to be stuck in a certain thing. Like I have that one watercolor of Brad's boots hanging on my hall, in my hall that uh, my mother-in-law gave back to me after Brad passed away. And, uh, you know, but I don't want to be stuck saying, okay, I like this watercolor. So now I need to do these watercolors all the time. I don't want, uh, I just got to keep moving. Got to keep moving forward. That's like my motto. Keep moving forward. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, exactly. And I do have a few other colors of clothes. I'm not saying I have none, but they're more for like a special occasion or something like, you know, the Christmas party, which, you know, there ain't none of those this year. Um, you know, that kind of thing. But um, yeah. And since I'm retired, you know, when I was doing visual merchandising, I would wear, you know, more colors and stuff. But again, we had to wear, we had to wear casual clothes because we're climbing ladders and climbing the ceiling three stories high, you know, digging, you know, through dusty things. And so, yeah, that my job just didn't entail dressing up except on occasion. Oh, thank you, Jane. Thank you for the Canadian $10. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you. I'm writing it down. Because everybody that's super chatting me throughout the, you know, every month I do this. So, 
Um, but Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. I'm writing them down and then uh, sending out thank you some prints that I'll have, you know, ready at the first in the first week of January. So thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you. I bright you bright. Y'all all bright my days. Y'all all bright my days for sure. And I, I really do appreciate this channel support. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Annie Mame. Exactly. I do. I do appreciate it. Yeah, exactly. And I know I told y'all this story. Y'all want me to tell it again about the time. See, now this was back when, and I don't think they do this anymore, but in, in high-end department stores, you wore dresses if you worked on the floor, if you were a girl. You wore dresses if you worked on the floor and heels. You had to have at least a two-inch heel and hose. You had to wear hose, heels, and a dress back in, you know, when I was doing visual merchandising. And one, uh, I'm going to keep flipping while I talk. One one time, the um, human resources manager got a wild hair and thought, visual merchandising girls should be wearing dresses too. <laughs> so you know what probably happened is one of the people on the floor, one of the girls on the floor probably got their nose out of whack because they had to wear a dress and heels, and we didn't have to wear a dress and heels. We could wear jeans and, and tennis shoes and you know, stuff like that. So they probably got their nose out of whack and went to the HR and said, well, why don't they have to wear dresses? I mean, I don't know that for a fact, but, you know, I can kind of assume. Look at this. Oh, so inspiring for my kimono uh, designs. Pattern design. I'm not designing kimonos, just the fabric. <laughs> I want to do that. Um, so anyway, um, so he had a meeting with us, and I think at the time we had a, a man, a man manager over mer visual merchandising. And I think this may have been at Christmas. We had an extra girl, so it was three of us girls, where there's normally was two girls and our manager, and the three of us kept up the store year round. So anyway, came to us and said, uh, "Y'all need to start wearing dresses." <laughs> heels uh, maybe he didn't say heels maybe he didn't make us wear heels but he, he made us wear he said you have to wear dresses so i went home at lunch that day i um I, the mall i was a mall rat uh, the mall was close enough where i could go home every day at lunch so i went home that day that lunch hour <laughs> i know this i'm such a i'm such a re rebel <laughs> i don't think i am that much anymore i used to be more of a rebel but anyway um <clears throat> Look at this one, too. Again, I love this, but I couldn't live in a pink room. But it's beautiful, just the, the art of it. So uh, I went home at lunch and put on a dress. And I think I did put on heels and, and hose. <laughs> Low heels. I didn't put on high heels. And uh, came back after lunch. As soon as I got done, you know, at lunch, came, came back to the store, got me a 12-foot ladder, drug it out, went leaned it up against something that needed to be changed in the store, climbed the ladder, 12, 12 foot ladder. And uh, that, was, that was the last time he said anything about us wearing dresses. We got called back. Um, You know what? I've reconsidered. I've rethought y'all really need to be wearing pants. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> it's not quite 1030, Janet. It's 1029. Who's going to be at 1030? It's 1029. I'm looking. I'm looking at my, I am actually looking at my, <laughs> I was a rebel anyway. I am looking at my, um, looking at my, uh, <laughs> I live. I'm looking at my uh, cat, uh, clock. So y'all know the deal. It's 10. Oh, it's 1030. It's just Janet. <laughs> What are you doing, Janet? All right, I put you on speakerphone. I know. Go put that meatloaf. In okay, the oven I was. I worry about her. Okay, well, wait a minute. It's ten thirty. Wait a minute. Let's see who um who hit it first at exactly ten thirty. I'm looking at ten thirty. Oh, kidding me? No, I'm that's because I being fifteen seconds early. Yeah, because I'm doing a giveaway for the person that got it exactly. So it looks oh, like. Oh, It's D. Uh, D. Richie. D. Richie was the first person at ten thirty exactly. Tracy was at ten. Tracy was at ten twenty nine. D. Richie was at ten thirty. 
So D. Richie. <laughs> okay. This is the last time I will ever try to do anything early in my whole life. <laughs> now you've ruined me. Okay. Now I'm like, I'm just going to sit here and do nothing because it's not exact. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Go take care of hugs. I will. <laughs> okay. So D. Richie, I'll be right back, guys. D. Richie gets a giveaway. So, because she got it exactly at 1030, the thing was, is I said that whoever told me exactly at 1030 to go put the meatloaf in would get a, a, a giveaway. So, D. Richie, I need you to send me your address. Hang on. I got to go put the meatloaf. I got to go put the meatloaf in the oven. Hang on. So if y'all were here early, when I first started, I said that the first person that told me at exactly 1030 to go put the meatloaf in, <laughs> hi Devin, so D. Richie, email me and I will send you out, do you art, what, what do you do D. Richie, I'm not sure if I remember what kind of art you do, tell me what kind of art you do, there's my, whoops, it shouldn't have been in caps, let me turn my cap lock off. Um. <laughs> <laughs> me either. I haven't either, some big jerk. I've never seen anybody that has me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so she's not actually going to get any meatloaf in the mail, Ashley. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So yeah, D. Richie was the 1030 winner. Uh, tell me what you like to do, D. <laughs> tell me what kind of art or craft you like to do, and we will adjust accordingly. No meatloafs will be involved in the mailing. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, mostly color books. Okay, color books. All right. I am going to. Are you in? Or where are you, D? Oh, do I need to send pages or a color book, depending on where you live? If you're international, you're going to get pages. If you're in the States, I'll send you a color book. But if you're international, you're going to get pages. So where are you, D? You don't have to tell me like your city. Just tell me, are you international or the States? I don't remember. I think I, I've talked to you before, I'm sure, in some other chat somewhere, but I don't remember. <laughs> Little sister. <laughs> okay, so you're in the States. All right, so I'm going to send you a color book, D. All right, so I have a note here. Let me put that over with my outgoing stuff. So I will send you a color book. Now, don't be expecting it in, in uh, two days because all the mail is slow right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, congratulations, D. I'm going to send you a color book for getting it right on it at uh, <laughs> exactly, exactly at 1030. Oh, here's another piece of vellum. <clears throat> So, yeah, you guys are so fun, so funny. All right. Oh, look at this one. Look at that. Is, is that sari silk? <gasps> oh, and speaking of sari silk, I need to buy some sari silk ribbon. I'm run out. If y'all have an Etsy shop that you know of or that you've bought from before that has good sari silk, you know, strips, the strips of, I don't want this. I don't want it bundles i want the strips already torn down sorry silk ribbon if y'all know an etsy shop that y'all bought from before or that you know sells uh sorry silk strips i need to stock back up so if y'all give me any recommendations i'll try to catch them 
if you have any. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Cheryl says, congrats. No meatloaf. There's no meatloaf in there. <laughs> <laughs> so I love this book, Annie Mame. I love it. Um, and, and I'm sure if you've bought multiples of it, that you've probably taken the vellum out of at least one of them. I'm tempted. I girl, I'm tempted to take out the. Uh, I'm uh, tempted to take out the um, vellum. Now I don't know if this is true, but uh, seeing the girls here from India and stuff. I don't know if it's true, but from what I understood that the the girl, the ladies in India, what color? I think I said, no, 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 Annie Mame. I don't want you to send me any. You've sent me enough. I want to buy some from, I'll support an Etsy shop. If you have an Etsy shop, Auntie Mame, that you've bought from, tell me the name of the, of the Etsy shop and I'll go support the uh, Etsy shop. Um, it used to be, I don't know if that's still the case now, they probably just buy sorry silk, I mean, sorry, you know, saris and cut them up. But it used to be that when the saris got worn out, when they got worn out, the ladies would tear them down into strips and sell it as ribbon. I don't know if that's still the case or if they everybody's buying it so they, you know, they tear it down before. Um Oh, yeah, I love the vellum in here, Tracy. Um, you, know, <laughs> you want his actual meatloaf, D? I'll, I'll send you the recipe. You want me to send you my recipe, D? <laughs> I'm not mailing any meatloaf. <laughs> but send me your address, D. Make sure and send me your address so I know where to send you the color book. Um, okay, yeah, do that, Annie Mame. Look at your past orders and tell me a good shop. Again, I don't want to buy the bun. I don't want to buy fabric bundles. You know, big bun. I just want to buy the individual. They're already torn down. They're already stripped down into ribbons. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, let me write that down on here. And meatloaf recipe. Meatloaf recipe. I wrote it on your paper. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, I know, but it's expensive to do that. You know, uh, I'm sure it's expensive to do the glossy paper, the vellum, the matte paper all in one. Flo does it. You know, Flo does. Well, I don't know. Flo, the magazine uh, does uh, both. But, you know, like the cardstock here is, is glossy. But most of the papers that the Flow Book of Papers makes is matte because they want you to be able to use it. Glossy papers, it's hard to actually use, right? This book right here, Devin, it is <clears throat> Trisha Guild Pattern. And there's different ones. I So, you know, I'm not sure how you could tell. Maybe, um, maybe Annie Mame could tell you more if, uh, you know, She's the one that sent it to me. But this is what the cover looks like. And it just has Trisha Gill pattern on here. It has an R. That's probably the publisher. So it doesn't distinguish. It's just pink. So it doesn't distinguish between some of the other ones. Oh, okay. So look at this, Melinda said. Email said, Flo won't do their English version. You mean the magazine, Melinda? <clears throat> They're not going to do the magazine or, or the books or in the English version. I don't care if this is in any, and it could be in any language because it's paper. But the magazines, you know, the articles and stuff, you have to have that in English if you want to read it. The magazine. Okay, I did not know that. So then we probably won't be, unless you subscribe to it to get it in Dutch, then you probably, it probably won't be in the U.S. in the bookstores. I mean, you could probably buy it specialty, you know, something, but the bookstores are probably not going to sell a Dutch magazine, right? Right. So, okay, we'll have to keep an eye out for that information.
Oh, there is an actual cover. Oh, you left off the dust jacket. Okay. Well, is the dust jacket the one that um, Pacola, Pacola linked? Hang on. Let me find it. Pacola linked uh, to the mag, to the book. Is this, let me ask if this is the cover. Hang on. Let me find it again. Okay. Is this the cover? Any main? Is this what the cover looks like? So if this, I'm asking Annie Mame, y'all don't, don't take my word for it yet. I'm asking, I think this is the one that Pacola linked to. Is this the cover to this book? Because if it is, then that's the one you want to look for on Amazon is that one. Okay, there you go. So if y'all want this book, go on Amazon and look up Trisha Guild Pattern and look for this. Look for this. Don't look for the stripe, okay? Don't look for that. Look for that, okay? Thanks, Annie Mae. Um, uh, yeah, it's getting too expensive. The shipping. Oh, well, shipping's redonkerous, right? It does. It has to be crazy, right, um, Janet? Famous meal, of course. <laughs> Oh my gosh, do you have some at hand, Scooby? Do you have some? Famous meatloaf movie quote is from The Wedding Crashers, Little Triff. <laughs> Hi, CB. Good to see you, CB. <laughs> Guys. So, okay, so now y'all know which one to buy if you want to buy it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think the vellum's going to have to come out of it. The vellum is probably going to have to depart the book. <laughs> oh, I don't care, Annie Mae. Thank you. you probably, Annie Mae goes, well, she doesn't need a cover. She's going to tear that sucker up anyway. <laughs> oh, I know how you think. All right, so there we go. So that is this uh, book again. It is the... Trisha Gill pattern. And it's the pink one. The pink cover. Floral. Pink floral. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hi, Sherry. Happy holidays to you, too. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, if they're not going to be shipping, I don't know about the paper books. They may not be. That may be why we didn't get one uh, in the States. Any name. That's maybe why they didn't put these out in the States. Okay. So thank you so much for everything. If y'all miss seeing everything Annie Mame sent me, please go back and watch the beginning of the show. I will be using all that stuff. I already got done. Uh, the James Burke insert out, ready to put in my <coughs> tin. I got my little things out of the flow book here to put in my handbag for little notes. Take a sip of juice. my little post-it notes okay so now i can throw away the meatloaf at 10 30 notes i had i had two or three of them stuck around here and i had <laughs> this. i'm gonna keep this handy though any man because there's sometimes when i'm doing something like i have to you know get something in the mail by a certain time or i want to you know preheat the uh, do something this little thing is handy this little clock thing is handy i'm gonna keep that close by and i'm gonna give this to cameron this little, uh, this little uh, journal of uh, LP covers and things here. It's little notes. So, yeah. All right. Uh-oh, what did I do?
Star King. Okay, am I back? <laughs> Boomer. <laughs> am I back? Can you hear me? <laughs> okay. I don't know what I clicked. I just accidentally swept my hand over my keyboard. I swept my hand over my keyboard and I was disconnecting myself. So now let me restart my camera settings up here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's back out a little. Let's see. Let's fix the auto white balance. Hang on. I've got to redo everything. There we go. All right. <laughs> I don't know what I did. <laughs> All right, so seriously, I touched something on my keyboard and I was gone. But I'm back. Okay, so where I'm going to go, we're going back to, I told y'all earlier. <clears throat> so I had my deconstructed art journal pages and I put them in that blue Canson mixed media. I cut down parts of my art journals that I liked that weren't finished. And I taped them into that Canson Mixed Media book. Well, it got so fat and fly, it was hard to work in. So I cut, I tore them all out of the Canson Mixed Media spiral bound, cut all the spirals off, trimmed it down just a hair. I think I had to trim it down a half inch to fit. So now all those pages are, <laughs> all those pages are now in a binder. <laughs> They're still just tape. Look, they're just tape. So if I want to take anything out, I just have to re just pull them out, right? But I, I kept the paper that they were on and just punched holes in it so I could have them in a binder. <laughs> oh, no. I'll deconstruct anything. Yes. So exactly true, Devin. Deconstruction, reconstruction. So that is what I have done. Let me brighten this up just a little. It looks, let's steam this autofocus a little. Brighten it up just a little. There we go. And so now, what, what I like about this now, I can take a page out and work on it. I couldn't do that in the spiral. In the spiral, it was hard to, it was getting so flared out. You know, it was getting so fluffy. I couldn't work flat. It wouldn't, you know. But now in a three ring binder, I can take a page out to work on it. Let's see, my color, there we go. Got the color. <clears throat> this is why you can't add those stickers to our, do your keys. <laughs> exactly, Lynette. If y'all missed it in the flow book, there's a page of little stickers <clears throat> with little letters and tiny little letters and little flowers and stuff you can put over your keyboard. And I can't do touch. Uh, I mean, I can, you know, I know it well enough, but I don't, I don't do non, you know, I don't do uh, non, just not looking at the keyboard and just typing. I have to be able to at least glance down at the letters. <laughs> And so Lance said, this is why you can't add those stickers. I'll disconnect myself. <laughs> uh, oh, my me and Love will be in there for an hour. It'll be in there an hour and a half. Slow cooked an hour and a half. Yeah. 
<laughs> so it'll be ready when Hotster gets home at 12. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Okay. So, um, so now I can take the pages out and work on them one by one and have it flat, you know, and, uh, and still work in a book, have them in a book. So I can still have them in a book. I haven't picked a page to work on yet. It's, it keeps wanting to flash out. Let me see if I can get it to, there we go. It's because of all the white background here. Anything is touch typing unless you're dictating. Well, all right. Um, by, not by sight. Let's put it that way. I can't touch, I can't type without looking at the keyboard. <laughs> We're getting picky now. We're getting picky, SB, SBJ. <laughs> oh my gosh so um yeah i don't know what page i want to work on i pulled my collage book out i pulled this book out i pulled my um my sticker uh botanical sticker anthology book out just to play i didn't figure we'd have a whole lot of time because i knew that was going to take a lot of time to go through those books which I love doing, by the way. Y'all know me. I love doing that. So I haven't decided which page I want to do. This one I did finish and posted. I did post this, post this on IG. And as you can see, I added some little, some of the colors that I used here. Uh, you type with two fingers. <laughs> well, I can type a little better than that, but I still have to glance down. I still have to kind of glance down. Um, I love this. I love them all. I love all of them that I've cut down, right? I've cut them all down. And uh, so anyway, now they're in this book. Maybe I'll work on this because this has a lot of, um, this one has a lot of uh, opportunity. But I do want it kind of back in the same spot if I keep it in this book because those kind of, I don't want to say they match, but they kind of go together. So if I take this one out of here, I'm not going to put it back because I like those together too. So if I work on this one, let's see what else. <laughs> I like this one too. Maybe I'll pull this one out. I'm going to pull two or three out that I might want to work on. <clears throat> So they're, again, they're bits of my art journals that weren't finished. I didn't like, they didn't, you know, and I just need to uh, keep working on. So something like this. See, I have lots of leeway to play with them. I like this one. This one has some little people. I don't do too many with people in it, but... Uh, I kind of like that one. Oh, I like that one too. See, it's got some people in it. Very medieval looking. Ah. <clears throat> Here come the cats. One of them. We worked on this one a couple weeks ago whenever we worked in this, uh, when the book was still in the cans and mixed media, spiral bound. We worked on this one. I don't say it's done, but I really like this little rock waterfall here that I've added in. I really like that. And this just looks like a this looks like a pterodactyl that that peeled over. <laughs> what cards do you use for the paper in this book? This is from the Canson Mixed Media, Judy. The Canson Mixed Media book, spiral bound sketchbook. I've taken this, these pages out of that and punched holes in it. And there's my cat right there. Malibu, the baby girl. <laughs> so, yeah, this one I love too. This one I love. I love them now that they're cut down. Okay, let me adjust this here. Let's pull this down just a little. There we go. I'll zoom in when I start working. Bye, Candy. Thanks for coming in. They're interesting. Now, they're interesting, but they're not done. You know, they're not done. 
I have some stuff done on them that I like, like this one. So I started, I worked on both of these, I think, on stream too. And just added a little, let me go ahead and zoom in. Let's see here. Let's try not to disconnect myself. Let's turn the light down just a little. There we go. So I really like those. And I did paint some of the uh, swatching, the colors that I used. Merry Christmas to you too, Scoobs. Thank you so much. You take care too. Enjoy that grandbaby, Scoobs. Yeah, yeah. It, that's what, this one wasn't that big. It was the, um, I think it was 9 by, 9 by 12 maybe? 9 by 12? I don't remember the size. Uh, I think I kept the cover because it would be good for shipping things. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Hang on. Because it was hard cardstock. <clears throat> so it's 9 by 12. This is what it is, this paper. And I just took the rings off. But I kept this because this is good for shipping because it's heavy, you know, cardstock. But that's what it is right there. And then just trim down just a little. I think I trimmed off about a half inch and then punched holes. <clears throat> Right, Malibu. Malibu's still sitting right there casting her shadow. <laughs> um, okay, so I think that's uh, about it. Okay, so I'm going to move this off the table. And again, it's just in a binder. It's just in a three-ring binder. Look, let's not take the lights with us. Let's go. All right, so now... Let's see what we can do. Let me have this, baby. What's that over there? Oh, that's a note that Annie Mae put in. She goes, this book is fun to paint, alter, and use. Love this designer. I bought four copies of her book. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Annie Mae. All right, I'm going to remove the lights now, baby girl. Mama's going to take the lights off the table because you're going to want to play with it. So let's remove the lights. Come on, step over, step over. Okay, moving her off the table. <laughs> now she's trying to wait till she gets off because she's putting a shadow. Can I get down? There she goes. All right, I can smell the meatloaf starting to cook. <laughs> All right, so these are the three I picked to work on. Which one do I want to work on? I might just lay them all out here. And uh, just see what I feel like uh, uh, adding some things to. Let's go ahead and play with some collage, uh, you know, because I did pull these books out. So I have my things to cut out and collage. You know, it depends. Sometimes I just like to show people how to just pick something and go with it. Sometimes I have something in my mind. I really don't have anything in my mind for any of these. Other than they're just, I just liked them today. And uh, so I'm not sure what I want to add to them. Um, I will say, though, that if you use any kind of stickers like this, there's a couple things you can do. They're going to have a white edge. And if you don't want the white edge like this, do I want that to be something maybe underwater here? If you add anything like um, a sticker that has a white edge, I, I'll cut the edge off. But then there's white in between. So if your background is not white, that white is going to show. So what you're going to have to do is paint. You're going to have to paint in between. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to. But yeah, I do too, uh, Gaga. I like that one too. Um, you don't have to paint in between, but I would. So, um, and like this, let's just take a look at this one right quick. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, but I'm going to peel it off just to see. So, all right. So you see how it's got a white edge? Now, you can do a couple things. You can either paint over it. I just like to fussy cut the white edge off. And then I'll paint in, in the uh, de inside the details. So I'm not going to really go in between every one of these. Um, I'm not going to go in between every one of these little coral arms. But I'm just going to paint, just get the excess around the outside. 
You don't have to do this. You can paint it in. I just don't. The thing about a sticker like this that has a, a hard, a, like a hard border like this is when, even when you paint it, this is why I tell you a couple of tips when you're collaging. Um, when you go to paint it, you're going to see that edge, even if you cut it off. So the same thing when you uh, collage anything, it's better if you can use a torn edge unless you're fussy cutting right up to the edge because you're going to see that in your collage. The, the, the edge will show. Even if you paint over it and match it exactly, which sometimes I don't really care if I'm just going to, you know, use it in, as a, you know, just a photo or something. I'm not going to or make it a little, you know, a little mini print or something, you know, something fun that I don't care. But um, but you're going to be able to see that. <clears throat> you're going to be able to see the um, white bordered edge, even if you paint over it. So. So you can see I didn't go and fussy cut in between. So what I would do is I would paint. What is the sticker book, Curly? It's the bo bo Botanist Sticker Anthology. And you can get it on Amazon. There it is. You can see it's a gold lettering. The Botanist Sticker Anthology. I'll show it to y'all. I don't. I thought maybe I'd shown it before. So let me just kind of, you know, I'm not sure exactly where I want this yet. Because I want to, I'm, I haven't really thought about my world building yet here, but uh, and I don't, I definitely don't want it right. Uh, see, this looks like another little mountain in there, another little area, another little world. So I think I'd want this to be kind of over this little rock area, maybe. I'm not going to stick it down all the way. I'm just going to kind of set it there for a minute because I'm not sure if that's where I want it. But I can see how I can extend, extend that coral up with paint. Do you know what I mean, Vern? All right, so I'm going to kind of lightly stick it. All right, so let me go ahead and show this since y'all are asking about it. <clears throat> and uh, there's the inside cover. You can get it on Amazon. <clears throat> there's the desert. And the other thing about this book and the other one that we have that's called, what was the other one called? The Antiquarian, the Antiquarian sticker book. It has a lot of vintage a lot of uh, uh, Victorian kind of stickers in it. They both are uh, put out by DK, but the thing about them is, look, let me show you here. So here's a place where I took a sticker out, right? Well, once you get, take all the stickers off, you are still left with this. This is not affected. Thank you, Pacola. Your, this, is, this page right here is not affected when you take off a sticker. So it, after you finish this book, if you remove, you know, because there's this paper, right? There's this, the back paper, you know, this, the backing paper behind the stickers. You can remove all that off of the, the sheet and you're left with a flat white paper and this on the background. So that would make an awesome art journal. So after you're done with the stickers, you are still left with a fat book of pages that look like this and the antiquarian one has a different background okay so it's like a, got a dual purpose <laughs> it's a dually <laughs> so then here's the rainforest i haven't used it too much i've used some of the there's a couple of sheets in here that these are big stickers like background like this one's a big giant oval and then a couple of them are rectangle, rounded rectangles. And that's just one big sticker. And then if after you use this, look, this is still a good sticker border for something else. So this will still peel off and be a border. And it's a sticker as is this is a sticker. Okay, so there's a few sheets of those in here. Devin says she loves the antiquarian sticker book. Yeah, they're both awesome. They're both awesome. I like the antiquarian one, too. It's all Victorian type things. This one is all just botanicals. Okay, so here's where I took that this off. The other thing I'll tell you is when I, anytime I use something like this in collage, a sticker, I do not trust the glue. I do not trust the glue on a sticker. I always glue it down. Okay, I'll use, uh, I mean, at the minimum, a glue stick or, you know, uh, 
depending on what you're working in, if you're just going to glue something on one little sheet like this, maybe some tacky glue. If I'm using, like if I'm doing something in my um, abandoned book, abandoned books, you know, the abandoned places books, then I use my golden matte medium, okay, uh, to glue things down. I don't trust, don't ever trust, and same thing for washi tape. Don't trust washi tape to stay glued down either. Okay. Oh, thanks, Pacola. And all these links are actual um, uh, clickable in the chat. So, um, yeah. All right. So, again, I'm just going to flip through it because everybody's wanting to see it now, which I don't blame you. <laughs> so, here's another one. This one's, like I said, the rectangle like. Okay, so it's a full sheet. It's a full sticker sheet. This is awesome for an art journal or a TN. Like in your traveler's notebook, this would be good to either put on the cover. Oh, where's my James book? Let's see here. Here's my James one. Uh, I don't know if I want to cover up his little note here. So, yeah, this is from um, uh, Annie Main. This was in the uh, gift that she sent me. But I don't think I want to cover up his. I wonder if I could cut this out. Or use, you know what? I bet I could use the outside edge. All right, we're going to take a minute. Well, you know what? Let me, here, let's not go on a, on a rabbit trail. I'm going to go ahead and just tab it for now. And what I'll do is I'll use, instead of using this and trying to cut out the middle where his words are, I'll use this. I'll use the outer edge, cut it down and make this fit, this border. I'll make the border fit around the edge. See, there's always a way. Okay, so let's keep going. <laughs> Hi, Kenny. Good to see you. I, I'm, we, Janet and I were asking with each other, where was Kenny the last few days? I don't think I saw you on Monday. I don't think I saw you last, maybe on Wednesday. So we were just making sure you were okay. Good to see you. Yeah, there's Janice. I've been missing you. We're just talking about you, Kenny. Uh, let's see. Debbie the Jewel said, thanks so many things. Blessing your family. Much love. You're welcome, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel. And I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Okay, Annie Mame said another tip. Is this a tip here? Amazon has a three for the price of two special going on some stuff. But don't go the link they give you. Look up what you like and see if it's included. Okay, good. That's good to know, Annie Mame. Yeah. Look for a two for two for special. <laughs> three. I get three for the prize or two. Uh, oh, that's all right, Curly T. I don't mind some rabbit trails. If I don't feel like doing a rabbit trail, we just we postpone, we postpone the uh, rabbit trails. But I don't mind because everybody loves seeing books. Right? <clears throat> And these little bees and these little moths, all the moths, yeah. moths, some moths. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, so, yeah, bugs. But it's all, you know, it's all botanicals. Lettering with botanicals. So, and the little bees and everything. So, yeah. You can see I've used some here. I haven't had this one as long as I've had uh, as long as I've had the other one. So the other one said, so, all right, here. This one is good. Let's, well, all right. Instead of this one that I have to peel off, we'll just go with this one for James. We're going to go with that one <laughs> in a minute. Because <laughs> this is what I want to use. I want to use the border. All right. They're just all so pretty, aren't they? Hi, Lady Jan. Merry Christmas. Hi, Ju. Oops, go so fast, Julie. I thought it was Tuesday. Hey, I, I think every day's Tuesday. I wake up thinking every day's Tuesday. <laughs> uh -huh. Thanks, Devin. <laughs> we try to have some fun here. We try to keep it lighthearted and 
There's so much in the world that it's nice to have a place where you can come and just, you know, it's like uh, cheers, you know, come and where everybody knows your name. <laughs> yeah, Jan, this is the sticker book it is, it's in. The Botanist Sticker Anthology. So, yeah. Now, the other one, the... Uh, the uh, antiquarian one, that's the, the Victorian one. I see that at Books A Million now. It's actually at Books A Million. Uh, I haven't seen this one at Books A Million yet. I'm kind of skipping over because this is in between every page. Here's another border. Well, it was, I use this. I use this in an art journal. It is pretty. It's too pretty to use, girl. Girl, Janet. Mm -mm -mm. Gonna smack you into next week. <laughs> you like this one better than the last one? Yeah, they're both they're both pretty in their own way. You know, this one is just all botanicals. The other one has all different kinds of things in it. You know. Mushrooms, ferns, and again, here's one of those sheets that's, see, And uh, I think, like I said, I think Hubster's off all next week. So I'll try to get him on to um, show you how to play uh, Liverpool Gin. Or I can get him to show you how to fold socks. <laughs> Y'all weren't here earlier then. <laughs> Cactus, just a little of everything on this one. There's a lot in it. There's a lot of stickers in this book. I'm up at page 215. There's another one of the full sheets. The antiquarian one, seriously quirky stickers. Yeah. Oh, good. That's a good idea. Making uh, cards with this quirky stick. They are. They do have some quirky ones in there. You know, everything like steampunk. Y'all want to see that one too? Okay. So that is that one. Uh, I want. I do want to get back to some uh, some of the aquatic ones here. But uh, there's a desert. Let's see. Where's that one at? Oh, well, wait. Let's stop and do this real quick. Let's see if I can do this. So what I want, my idea is, is to take this, let's see if I can grab a corner. Sometimes if you just roll the corner, you can peel off a corner. But I'm going to have to cut it down to fit around his little, to fit around the note there. So I'm not sure. Let's see how big does it need to be. All right, so I think the best way to do it is cut it into fourths. I think that'll be the easiest. So I'm going to cut it into, cut the corner. I'm going to cut some corners here. <laughs> then I can overlap. Okay. We'll see how this turns out. <clears throat> I want to line it up. I got to turn this. So I'll just overlap it right there. Okay. Now I could do a couple things. I could extend this here and then do the other around here. I'm not sure what it's going to look like if I 
what kind of an oval or what is it going to make? Do I have to cut that? Let's see. I might have to cut the edge. Let me get my X-Acto knife here. I might have to cut this edge. Did I cut it all the way through? Oh, I missed this top part. Still didn't get any new blade, I think. I need a new blade. Almost. There we go. <gasps> I tore it. All right. Hang on. This blade's not sharp. Did I still not do it? Ah. All right. I'm just tearing it up now. Hang on. Put it back together. My wonky blade. Let's trim the edge. All right, so I'm thinking, let's see what is that, what shape will that make? It'll make like a leaf shape. Oh, that might be nice. We're going to roll with the leaf shape. Okay. So it'll make that shape. All right, if I can get the rest of it off. <laughs> I'm going to get the rest of this off with my blade here. You know what? Let me get my other. Let's get serious. Let's get serious. <laughs> All right. Close it up so Barb doesn't email me. Barb Owen will email me if I don't close my blade. All right. Trim off the little wonky there. All right. All right. Start down here. Rabbit trail. Okay, so since I tore that one, let's go ahead and cut it. Let's put a, let's like make a, uh, what do you call it? A dart? <laughs> gonna, make, gonna make a dart <laughs> on my sticker. Yeah, there's a little spot right there. I'll have to paint in that little little spot right there. Hi, Juanita. Thank you, She Spins Juanita. Chick-fil-A fun. Oh, my God. Juanita. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much for the Chick-fil-A fun. That's where we'll go. <laughs> I'm writing that down. Chick-fil-A fun. <laughs> Thank you so much, Juanita, for the super chat. <laughs> Thank you, God. I mean, I got, look, look at all the super chats y'all giving me today. Look at all of them. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, Juanita. <laughs> Did I miss somebody? Did I miss, uh, I miss Lady True North Jan. Oh, wait, let me go back. Let me see if I can scroll back. I was busy cutting this out. Hang on. There's Lady True North Jam. Thank you, the coffee fun. Okay, I'm writing that down. Thank you, Lady Jan, for the $5 Canadian. <laughs> and I'll be sending y'all prints out the first of the, um, the first of the year. Thank you so much. Sorry I missed that, Lady Jan. Thank you so much. <laughs> I smell the meatloaf. Huckster's good. I told him this morning. I said, I got the meatloaf made. I just got to pop it in the oven at 10 30. He goes, oh, Bless you. You're a keeper. <laughs> That's what he told me. You're a keeper. Okay. So there's a little bit of little wonkiness right there. Let me just kind of match that in. 
but I could go around this with gold and edge this with gold. And then I'll just fill in that little bitty place right there, probably just with a marker. I'm looking at my markers right now. Let's see. I probably don't, I probably do it. I don't know if that, this is pretty thick, but I still don't trust a Copic. Like maybe just a, it's just a little tiny bit. You know, there's just a little, that's enough. And then I'll edge it with gold. I'll edge this with gold paint and then take a mark gold uh, Posca. I'll take a gold Posca and go in there. And then this is ready for my, uh, <laughs> somewhere, it's going to be fit in here somewhere. <laughs> in my uh, downsized traveler's notebook, it's going to have to fit in there somewhere. So I'm just going to stick it there for now. <laughs> Okay, so let's get back to, let's see, uh, I know, y'all are so awesome. Hi, Katrina, see you coming in. Katrina, anybody else I missed? All right, so that's the Botanist Sticker Anthology. Now my, um, hang on, let me grab the Antiquarian. I do have a couple copies of the antiquarian one. When this came out, Janet and I got them at Target. When these first came out, we found them at Target. And I think Janet told me about them, and I went right down there and got some. And uh, so they were 30% off at Target about a year ago, I think. I think it had to be about a year. <laughs> now, my, my traveler's notebooks do not travel. When I... When I travel anywhere, uh, Julie, Julia, when I travel anywhere with some, it's going to be this. <laughs> this is what fits something like this. Fits in my handbag. <laughs> so the Antiquarian sticker book, um, you can get on Amazon too. And Pacola already put the link in. And I've already, look, you can see where I've used quite a few out of this one. And, um, but it has a backing like this. Look, this whole page I've used. But this is what you're left with after you use a page. You're left with this so you can still turn this into an art journal. Thank you, Riri, for the super sticker. <laughs> Guys, oh, so good. Thank you so much. This is what an awesome Christmas. Uh, last stream of the Christmas before Christmas. But don't forget, guys, we're doing we are doing a um stream a thon New Year's Eve and into New Year's Day. So nobody has to be alone and lonely on New Year's. So y'all make sure and uh check out Mary Altier's uh community tab probably sometime this week. She'll have a list of all the streamers and the hop that will continue from New Year's Eve into New Year's Day. Cat right there in case y'all didn't see. So thank you so much, <laughs> Riri. I wrote you down, so I have your address. I know I have your address. Um, Holly, the huge decorated contractor bag. <laughs> I don't, see? I don't. I have a, my purse holds my wallet and a phone. That's all it holds. <laughs> it's just, uh, and it's the kind of straps across my body, you know, so I just throw it over my head. My hands are free. So, um, yeah, baby girl right there, throwing a shadow. So let's, um, let's go ahead and look through this real quick. Then I might have a few minutes to do something. <laughs> oh, thanks, Riri. Yes, very, very kind. Yes. She's sitting here. She's sitting right here. She'll be getting. She'll pop, she'll get bored because I'm not paying her any attention. So she'll she'll get bored in a minute. See, look, I've used quite a bit out of this one. So see how it's kind of just odd things. It's just weird things. What's his name? Heck heck heckle heck. What's this guy? What the heck is his name? Heckle? <laughs> Bugs and flowers. And then they're just patterns. And there's a whole section of alphabet in the back. So, yeah. If you like eclectic things or, you know, Victorian or 
just odd things. No, babe, you can't have the paint. See, look. Oh, look, there's Zippy the Unicorn. <laughs> we got to take this out on, put this on. This is Zippy right there. Look, Zippy the Unicorn. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> what can I stick this on? I don't have a piece of wax paper to stick this on. Oh, wait, here's a piece of plastic. Look, got a piece of plastic here so I can reuse it. Let's, uh, we'll have to keep this out oh, for Zippy. <laughs> Next time we see Zippy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So, there's just so many different eclectic things. More heck. <laughs> Forget his name. I know one of y'all probably know his name. Um, I want it's Heckle or something like that. I've got a couple of books. I got a color book. I've got a um, clip art book of Heckle. I think I'm saying I might be wrong. It's probably not. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but anyway, that's his designs right there. Uh, See, so there's just all kinds of things in here. And again, there's some of these pages. This one is um, shapes. What is it a shape of? Is it a person? Is this one a shape of a person? I guess. Oh, it's a bear. This one's a shape of a bear. <laughs> it's all shape of a bear on that sticker. Bye, Cheryl. So let me just kind of quickly flip. Just see the back. There's a double pages of every letter in the alphabet in the back. And there's these patterns like this. Here's some aquatic stuff. See, that's kind of what I need for um, for this page. You know, some just even one thing. What one thing do I want? Do I want the little octopus? Do I want another little seashell? Maybe this little shell. I'll have to trim off the blue there. And do I want this little octopus there? Maybe him. Probably I really would like him, but that's gonna take me a while to fussy cut. So I think we'll go with we'll go with these two things. All right, let's see. And I can probably find it in my things to cut out book too. So, but anyway, as you can see, look, all kinds of oddities, Victorian. It's just it's just jam packed. Oh, there's another pattern one. Bats, birds, butterflies. Wombat. <laughs> okay, so anyway, it's the Antiquarian Sticker Book. This one I've I'm now seeing in uh, the stores. And then there's the Botanist Sticker Anthology, which is the newer one. Hi, Laurel. It's good to see you. Haven't seen you forever. Hi, Edwin. Aloha. Aloha to Edwin. And, uh, <laughs> thank you for stopping in, Edwin. If y'all saw my uh, most recent um, IG and Twitter post, Edwin and his wife Jenny in Hawaii send, sent us some uh, candies from Hawaii, cookies and candies and coffee. Oh, my. So thank you. Thank you, Edwin and Jenny. And uh, oh, thanks, Laurel. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. As well as anybody can be expected in 2020. <laughs> Okay, so now the other book that I have here that I use all the time is The Extraordinary Things. Let me just kind of stick out. I'm not poke it, you know, hit, stick it down too much there just, just so I can go into this. Uh, Extraordinary Things to Cut Out and Collage. And this is another book. Now, these are not stickers. These you have to fussy cut every bit of this, Okay. Every bit of this has to be fussy cut if you want any. And again, you can see I've been using it. So it's really, you know, in, in tatters, if you will. But uh, this all has to be cut out so it's not stickers. And uh, I should try to get over to some. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's get a diver. A little diver would be 
<laughs> well, this one, this little girl here, this woman is jumping over their arm. She would be good to be jumping into the, uh, jumping into the uh, water there. That might be fun. So I have to, when I'm doing this, I have to kind of stop and think a little bit. I don't know if I want a person in it right now, because then I have to start really thinking up a complete story. And we're running out of time because Hubster's Meatloaf is going to be ready at 12. So I only have 30, 30 minutes. Yeah, Edwin, I know. It, it, in Hawaii right now, it's six hours, six hours. So what does that make it? 5.30 in the morning there? 5.30 in Hawaii? So aloha, Edwin Boyette. If y'all don't follow Edwin, if he does some awesome, he has an awesome voice. Edwin does. I, I'm not going to try to imitate it, but he has a deep, very, uh, when he reads things or uh, quotes things, you just, um, he's just got one of those voices. So if y'all don't follow Edwin Boyette. Go follow his channel. He used to do comic book reviews, but he hasn't done that for a while. Maybe he'll get back into it. Um, yeah, how far? I know there was a the on the big island that wasn't there a, a, a volcanic eruption last. Was it last week? Was it last week that the uh, that there was? A, I, I didn't see it on the news or anything, and I didn't go look it up on. Um, social media but wasn't there a, some kind of a some kind of a volcanic eruption on the big island which probably isn't that unusual no well, thanks Kenny I'm really I'm looking here for some more uh, you know stuff for the ocean but i'm not seeing anything right here i know there's ocean stuff in here but it may all be like chopped out look see what i'm talking about there's this giant shells that i have here from um i have these shells from uh katherine anderson's book katherine anderson has good books collage books over on amazon ah uh, here we go here's some fish and shells here's some fish here we go. See this stuff here. But you got to fussy cut this stuff out. Here's another little piece of shell, a little coral here. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do all this, but we'll see. I like this little crab. He's a little on the orange side. I'd have to paint him back to, because uh, I've got pinks and things in this one. Let's just set this aside for a minute now. Let's set this over here. Let's bring our piece back in. Oh, da, 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 da. are you trying to black and white photo the Hollywood stars? Uh, how about you? <laughs> um, it, it's okay. I think actually Maryland's been so overdone in prod in things. I don't know. Eh, I have a couple of ones from her in a couple of these books here, but uh, I don't know. It's kind of like cliche. Um, okay, so I'm going to cut around. And when you're fussy cutting, what you want to do is you want to move the piece you're cutting. You don't want to move your scissors. Don't do this. Don't, ow, I just poked myself. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> you want to move the thing that you're cutting, not the scissors. Okay. So, and again, I'm not going to get in between every one of the little tentacles here. I'm just going to get the outline and then I can paint because that's what I usually do. I'll paint it in. But if you leave this edge, if you leave this edge on the sticker, what it'll do is when you, even if you paint over it, you're still going to see that outline. You don't want to see that outline. <clears throat> so... I hope I didn't embarrass um, Edwin and run him off by complimenting him on his 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 and Jimmy Jenny's gift. But I like to shout people out when they do nice things. I can't help it. I just like to shout people out when they do nice things. 
Oh, these scissors. These scissors have, have a blue pair. Yeah, I, I did poke myself. <laughs> these are the um, Cutter B brand, Cutter B. I forget who makes them. EK Success, I think, makes them. But it's like, um, you know, Hubster's in HR, and he tries to compliment people when they do, you know, good work and stuff like that, and he, you know, notices that they've done something, and 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 I can't tell you how many times he's told me that he has complimented people on their job, and they still tell him, you know, I've worked at, I've worked in this industry for 10, 20, whatever years. He goes, no one's ever complimented me. No one's ever told me I'm done. I've done a good job, and I think to myself, man, oh man. So you know, you just you don't know um, when you when you tell people that they're doing a good job or thank them for something that they've done for you or for somebody else or whatever. You know, don't don't be afraid to shout people out because that may be the only you may be the only person that does it. You know, you may be the only person that they ever hear, you know, you're doing a good job. And, you know, my thing here is more than anything is encouraging people. I want to encourage people to try things, do things, find their, find their niche in the, you know, creativity. And, uh, you know, I love to shout out other YouTubers and other creatives, whether it's on IG or wherever, because you may be the only one doing it. So, yeah. <laughs> Safety scissors. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, really. You know, here's the thing. Don't look away. Don't look over at your computer, your camera screen when you're cutting. That's what I did. I started cutting and I looked up at the screen and picked <laughs> myself right in the hand. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, thanks, Dad. I Yeah, we, we and, and I think we all of us here are good about that because I'm just going to cut a little bit of this white out here because, uh, you know, we're all friends in the box. We're the fibs. And that's just what we do. <laughs> so. But, uh, you know, there's, I, I know, not in our group, but I see people in other uh, groups, they don't want to compliment people and call other people out. They're afraid it's going to take away from them. You know, oh, I can't shout out that YouTuber because then they'll go watch them and they won't watch me. Don't be that way, people. Don't be that way. Just saying. Not that y'all are. But, okay. All right. So I have a few things here. And I really want this, if you can see right here, look how that looks like a little mountain. See that little mountain back there? This looks like you're undersea here, but you're looking through here. And oh, there's a sticker sticker booger on my finger. <laughs> sticker booger on my finger. Um, this looks like a little, like you can see through there. And there's another little dimension <laughs> Uh, bye, Annie Mae. Thank you again for everything. If y'all missed my happy mail this morning from Annie Mae, it was so fun. And it was so fun to, to go through it with all of you. Okay, well, get, get, get crack a whacking. Wait, before you go, Annie Mae, here. I don't think you need this, but <laughs> let's see if I can find it real quick. Uh, well, can I find it before she leaves? She's probably already left. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here we go. All right, Annie Mame. Let's see if I can get this to work. Oh, I have the volume off. <laughs> That's right. You crack a lock in Annie Mame. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So let's see. All right. So I kind of want this little piece of coral here. And then I have this piece of coral somewhere up in here. And then I got this little starfish might be stuck on this wall here somehow. 
maybe it's this way. And then the little octopus <laughs> might be floating around up in here somewhere. Something like, I don't want anything centered, you know. Maybe this needs to come over here. Or maybe him a little bit right in there. Hmm. Maybe he should be hanging there. Maybe this can be up in here. Because I want to paint this up into there. <laughs> Actually, it would kind of look good to have something just hanging off the edge. Something like that. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's see. Let's go. And I'm just going to use a glue stick because we're running out of time. i got 20 minutes to play on this page. So I'm just going to go ahead and just put it down with the glue stick. But if you're, I'm, and I'm going over acrylic paint. You really want to glue this down. I probably should glue it down with some uh, tacky glue because I don't, you know, <laughs> I'm going over acrylic paint and a glue stick probably isn't going to cut it. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's not. It's already kind of peeling up because it's uh, it's going over acrylic paint. So let's just go ahead and put some tacky glue down. And anytime you use any kind of thick glue like that, you want to smooth it out because you don't, you'll leave bumps and lumps in your collage if you just go flat. Uh, if you don't flatten it out. <laughs> All right, there we go. So I hope everyone's going to have a good Christmas, even if you have to Zoom your family. I hope everybody... Um, does i know everybody's been mailing their packages so hopefully all your presents that you sent out got to everybody you wanted them to get to oh thank you denny for the five dollars merry christmas i'm late what are you using for the background right this background is one of my old journal pages one of my old journal pages um if you missed it i did do a little bit of a flip through of a, I put, I took some old journal pages, cut them down, and they're on another piece of paper. They're just taped down, so if I want to move it, I can. Um, and then I've cut them down and put them here to re, to keep working on them. They're pages that I didn't finish, didn't like. So, Denny, thank you so much. And here is my email. If you will email me your address, which I do not share with anybody, uh, I will send you out a thank you. Uh, I send out thank yous the first week or so of every month so there's my email so thank you so much for supporting the channel i'm gonna write you down i write it down and then i wait <laughs> if you send me your email i mean your address i will send you out a thank you i send out thank yous once a month so yeah thank you pacola yeah thank you so much for supporting the channel but that's what that is. It's it's just a cut down art journal page. And uh, I put them all in a binder, a three ring binder. So I can, uh, here's a couple more that I pulled to, that I might want to work on today. So you can see here, they're just in different stages. All right, so let's see, let's finish gluing and then I'll have a little bit of time to paint. Five minutes to paint. <laughs> Uh, but I did show a couple um, that are finished uh, a, a little while ago. So if you want to go back later and kind of about maybe 10, 15 minutes before this time, you can see some of the ones that I went through. Okay, thanks, Danny. Yeah. All right, let's see. I missed a little spot right there of glue. Did I? Now I stuck it back down with the sticker. Let's get the, Let's get some glue under there. Bit of glue. But again, um, watch watch out for um, the streamathon. I'll be here Monday and Tuesday. I mean Monday and Wednesday, and uh, then the streamathon starts on Thursday of next week. 
So the New Year's Eve. So it would be New Year's Eve into New Year's Day. Mary Altier, if Placola wants to put her uh, channel in there one more time for me, uh, then, uh, yeah. So again, now I just get out some paint. <clears throat> I'm just going to get out some acrylic paint and uh, see what I want to build with this. So uh, let's see, I'm going to need some kind of tealy color, maybe this color, this color, or both. Probably this color and some white, because that minty one's just a little too minty green. So a little bit of this color, just to, I'm not going to have, you know, 10 minutes to, to work here. So got some white. And this is just acrylic craft paint. Now, I'll tell you why. This one's almost empty. Why I like um, acrylic craft paint over artist grade acrylic paint is because it's matte. Okay. I, either a folk art brand, Americana, which is my favorite, but it's matte. So there's no shine to it. And if you like to use color pencil in your work, then you want a flat matte paint because. Um, the, if you use a shiny one, it's not going to, you can't pencil over it. Oh, thank you, Pacola. Look at Pacola's right on it. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Pacola. Uh, oh, and there's Mary's community tab. She put that in there. She'll post a New Year's Eve schedule soon. Um, so just, um, there's Mary's name right there. Mary, A-T-E-L-I-E-R, Mary A-T-A. That's our channel name right there. And then you look on our community tab. Thanks again, Pacola, for uh, adding that in there. Thanks so much. Do you have past videos on how to make your art page back? Oh, yes. <laughs> I have uh, around 1,000 videos, Connie. If you look under mixed media, collage, art journal, abandoned places, um, any of those four, mixed media, if you look under any of those tabs, you will find all oh, how I do all this. Yeah. I have a, about a thousand videos. So, yeah, we got plenty. We got plenty for you. <laughs> uh, yes, a thousand, Riri. And literally a thousand. Uh, and I actually took some down when, you know, they have that can't make don't make videos for children well, i've never made videos for children but if you show certain things they consider you they might think you're trying to advertise to children so i put a lot of them on private too but i think public i still have about maybe over a thousand by now i don't know but probably over a thousand by now so okay so now we got a little bit of that um let's see i want a little bit of coral color maybe peachy coral color this color i don't have too much time of okay this one hasn't been cut open yet let's uh all right let's not look at the camera when i'm cutting <laughs> cut off the plastic on this just a little of that color a little sienna I don't know that I need too many, and maybe a little brown. Let's see, where's the brown? Reach it. Just a little brown, maybe. Okay, that's the pile I need. And also, guys, this is why you want to have what I call a desk journal or a sketchbook, some kind of thing where a book where you use up leftover paints. So, and it's also can be a start for another project. I don't, I don't have time to get one out right now. But you, you can take whatever's left over after you play with your paints, take whatever's left, scrape it up and scrape it on uh, in another journal or a blank page, just someplace to use up that paint. So then you've got to start for another page using up what's left, uh, whatever is on that palette. Okay. Um, yeah, keep <laughs> you busy, Connie. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's get a little brush here. Let's see. I got a couple sitting here. Let's just go with this little flat one here. All right, so now I might just want to come in here first 
and um and and this is all subjective guys you just got to kind of you know you just play with it until you figure out you know you match up the colors and and let me just go ahead and do this just because it's going to kind of cool to do this so this is just a piece glued down right or taped down it's just tape but i can also just continue this over is that hopster it's cats. I thought it was him. Um, I have I have this meatloaf. It's going to be ready in ten minutes. I go. I go. I won't take any longer. So you can even consider going off the edge here. Oh, thank you, Sylvia. Thank you so much for the six ninety nine. Let me write you down. <laughs> I Sylvie. Uh, Sylvie. I think I have your address, but if you don't mind, send it to me again, just so I make sure. Thank you so much for the $6.99. I appreciate that. This was great streaming year, Dee Dee. Thank you for being here for us in the difficult times. Oh, thank you guys for being here for me. I mean, we all we all support each other. Um, Judy, what color of stickles do you like? I don't use stickles that often, Judy. I don't use stickles that often. Uh, if I would recommend one, it would be like the diamond color one because it's clear and when you go over something when you go over something with the clear um it picks up the color underneath okay so i'm just going to kind of like foam foamy that up a little let me zoom in a little let's zoom in there we go <clears throat> And so you can use your fingers, you can use your brush, you can use a baby wipe. All different things have different texture things and things you can do with it. And then I might want to do a little bit of, let's see if you can get the colors in here. So lighten that peach color up. So what I'm going to do also is then I can paint in between the little arms of the, And then I might want this to look more like a mountain here. So I gotta I gotta consider not just going around him, but also what's going on in the uh, background and stuff. So now I'll come up here, maybe go in between the coral here. And I'm I'm really rushing this now because I'm running out of time, but we've done plenty of this kind of stuff. There's lots of videos to watch on it. Just build your build your little world. If you don't like something, you can just paint over it. You see how you kind of paint in? You paint that sticker into the world. And, you know, if you would have that white edge, even if I painted over that white edge, you would have been able to tell that there had been a white edge there. Whereas if I fussy cut this out, now I can come in here and kind of, you know, blend it in a lot more realistically. See? <laughs> Hi, Don. Good to see you. Um, so, again, guys, I stream every Monday and Wednesday. And... Um, I come on at 9 Eastern, but sometimes I'll come on at 10. I mean, at 8.30 for, uh, I don't know where I got 10. Uh, I come on at 8.30 just to do some chatting and stuff with y'all before the show. So I'm not sure where I'm going with this on the outside edges yet, but I just thought it kind of <laughs> cool just to pull it off into the sides here. Same thing for this. Let's just get that a little more sienna. You can't see. I'm so zoomed in. You can't see that the colors I'm mixing here. Not sure where I'll go with it yet, but I just want it to go off the edge. Maybe these are some individual rocks over here. Part of this. But again, kind of running out of time. 
Thank you, Tracy. Merry Christmas to you, too. Devin said, my New Year's resolution is going to be get up earlier on Monday. <laughs> and y'all make sure and follow Devin Rex, too, on Instagram and YouTube. She posts a lot of good stuff as well. Um, let's see. All right, so now let me come over here. Let's go back to the pinky peachy color here. A little bit of the... Because I want to kind of go in between. I made the darker, I think, to get in there. So I can paint in between this on the sticker here. Just to get rid of the white. Bright white sticker that's in between. So that's how you get rid of that. Is you just paint it out. And uh, thanks everybody for joining me today. Anybody I missed. Um... And I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas, and we'll see you on uh, Monday. And um, hopefully I'll get Hubster here. I don't know if I can get him here on Monday. I'll try. And uh, we'll show you how to play Liverpool Gin card game. Maybe this might, some of this peachy pink, maybe the coral. This coral might be kind of cool to go a little taller here. So maybe extend this out. Like this, maybe. Maybe there's just more of it. Might even go off the edge eventually. I'll do that right now, though. Don't be afraid to just to go in there and paint your own little world. Okay, that needs a little break right there. All right, now I can go back in there with the... Um, you're welcome. Thank you, Kevin. All right. So I guess, guys, I'm about out of time. It's right at noon, and I've got to go get my meatloaf out. And uh, although I'm having fun, I could stay longer, but I really got to go. So you can kind of see how. Let me um clean my brush out. Let me pull the uh, my journal, I mean my uh, notebook back out here and show you a couple of the ones that we did a little further along. Let me back out one. <laughs> well, I really zoomed in. Okay, so let me try to find a couple pages that have more done. Here, all right. This one, this one's done. And you can see I just added some color swatches. We worked on a few here the last couple of, here, this one right here. These two pages are a little further along. So you see, you just start painting in. Don't be afraid to try things. This is like your practice. These are old journal pages that are just cut down and taped in for me to do all different things on. You can co test colors, you can play with the water, the waves, so all this is painted in. This is all painted in. So that way you can, well, it's all painted in because I've cut them down from other art journals. But um, then you don't be afraid to use this as your like starting point or uh, ideas or if you have techniques you wanna try out, you know. So, all right, guys. Well, Merry Christmas to all of you. And we will, I'm sure I'll see you at other streamers. And if not, if I don't see you till next Monday, thank you all for supporting the channel all year. And um, yeah, I hope you all have a great Christmas, whether it's with or without family, and that God blesses your new year. All right, guys. Bye bye. <laughs>